G.I. Joe, how's it going? Shit, chillin', man. What's the word? Ah, shit, man. You know, same shit over here, man. Glad to see you finally coming out to do some interviews and tell your side of the story. Yeah, for sure, man. I thought it was about time. You know, I'm gonna do something, you feel me? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, man. It's a lot. A lot has happened, man. You know, the drill scene is crazy. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of rumors, a lot of people talking. You know, and it's really good that you come out and give your side of the story and kind of tell your truth about everything. Yeah, for sure. So we'll just start from the beginning. You know, can you kind of tell everybody a little bit about you? You know, where you grew up and and maybe a brief rundown of what it was like. Shit, really, yeah. Uh, shit, I grew up on 63rd in St. Lawrence. Shit, as a kid, you feel me? Like, uh, shit, you know? At first, it was shit like, you know, it was shit going on. My f- had a normal lifestyle, you know? But, like, our parents, you feel me, and our parents' brothers, you feel me, like our uncles and shit, they was running the streets, you know? But we weren't running the streets, you know? We were just normal kids going to school and shit like that, playing with my f- eggs, throwing eggs at each other, you know? Chilling, doing shit like that, doing shit kids do, you know. But shit, I guess as like the years progressed and shit, you know, like when gang banging, you feel me? Us watching our parents and our uncles and shit, and eighteen, uh, eighteens and shit, like jumping that shit, you feel me? So like, you know, we ain't got no choice. Like we just we seeing this, so whatever we seeing, that's what we doing, you know. We looking up to them, you know, and they in the street, so shit, you know, shit just got to happening. Gang banging started and. Killing and all that shit, and that shit just went to a whole nother level, really. Okay, so so you had a lot of your family was in the streets too. Yeah, for sure. Were they from your hood also, or are they were they from different areas? Yeah, no, my uncle, my mama, they yeah, they they from where I'm from. You know, my grandma, she been living. You know, she got a crib on 63rd in St. Lawrence. She had that crib, you know, for over like 40 some years. Like, you know, had them built from the ground. So it's like her kids was over there. You know, like it's just what we was, you know, was born at. We original from over there. You know. Okay, now, uh, you know, your mom and everything, so you're seeing everybody be in the streets, man, and that influenced you guys to want to follow that. Shit, it's like, that's the only thing that we seeing as kids, you know, is what they doing in our environment, you feel me? It's like, our environment, like, minimized to only certain shit, so that's what we gonna be coming, the shit we see we gonna do. Like, you know, we see them smoking weed, and I be like, damn, what's that? They smoking, we gonna try to smoke some weed or some shit, you know, like... You know, then we get to seeing them playing with guns and doing shit, selling drugs and shit. Now, you know, that shit interests us, you feel me? Because we seeing them do it, you know? And they getting money and shit, like, at the time, it was like positive shit happening, like positive outcomes coming behind the shit they doing, like gang banging and selling drugs and shit like that, you know? So, shit, we trying to see what's to it now. What do you think was, like, your earliest memory of some violence or some real street stuff that you've seen go down? All types of shit, like, um... Seeing my f- get shot, seeing my f- get robbed, seeing my f- get stabbed and shit like that. Hey, yeah, I was seeing violence as a kid. Like, that's what was going on. At first, we weren't involved in nothing, you know? We was just seeing it. So, shit. How old were you when you first seen someone get shot or stabbed? I seen the mother f- get stabbed when I was like, I want to say, like nine or some shit. I seen the mother f- get stabbed to death when I was nine. And Damn, stabbed to death? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Was this in on your in your hood, I take it? No, nah, it was yeah, it was actually I was over my mama uh people's crib, you feel me? And they neighbors. We weren't even in our neighborhood. We was like somewhere else and shit. And I guess they neighbors and shit, they be always arguing with each other, tweaking with each other. So shit, but you know, you can hear the arguing and shit through the wall, you know, the wall stand. So they arguing, I'm hearing them, you know. I'm like, man, I want to go outside. So as I'm going outside, leaving out the door, you feel me? They in the hallway arguing, you feel me? Your motherfucker come out style, just get it stabbing them up. Now I'm right there, you feel me? I'm like, damn, you know, I just ran, you know. I really ain't know what was going on at the time and shit, you know. I just got out of there, you feel me? So shit, that's how that shit. Damn. What school were you going to? What elementary school did you go to? At first, I was going to James McCosh. That's what it was called back then. Now it's called, I think they called it like Emmett Till or some shit like that. And I had went to Carter, 
grammar school. That's over there on uh, like 50, 58th in Michigan. I went there too. Okay, and you and you and Ki, I take it, we're going to school together. Yeah, we always went like the uh, grammar school and shit. We always went to school together. You know, like we was in James McCars together. You feel me? Then we had I think in fact I think we was in. Yeah, we had end up swapping from both type shit. You know, like we was in James McCars and the car. You feel me? Because we was we had moved on 58th in Michigan, so we couldn't be living in this area and still going to James McCarr. So we had to transfer, you feel me? But we knew my in the area, like we are, so we knew a lot of my folks at the school anyway. Okay, now, growing up, one thing I commonly hear is like guys went to school or they were good friends with guys who they turned out to be ops with. Was there anybody you went to school with that you that you grew up getting into it with? Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, like McAdoo 600, like, like we went to school with him, like, you know, so it's like when it come down like to that hood, like we went to a lot of them for like it wasn't even what it was back then, you know, like a lot of us, you feel me, our parents know each other, you feel me, like McAdoo and K.I., you know, they used to, you know, around as kids, you feel me, and I used to with McAdoo cousin, like, you know, I, I know his people, you feel what I'm saying, like, I know him personally, like I grew up with Shorty, you know. What is K.I. like during this time growing up? See, she's still in her girl phase, you feel me? In them days growing up, like, she's still, she's a girl. Well, like, what you expect from a girl, like a real, like a, a a kid, a girl, you know? With her reputation, how she grew up and everything, was she, was she, like, tough, like a tough girl? You know what I'm saying? Like a, a Tommy Boy type or, you know what I'm saying? Was she, like, girly, girly type of girl? She was a girly girl, you know, but she was still... Like hanging around uh, the gang a lot, like hanging around a lot though, you know. But she was still a girly girl though, you know. She still had that that feminine side to her, you feel me? Like, you know, she be fighting this shit, you know. Like, but she ain't had that type of woman well, be like, like you know, watch out for shorty type shit. Like she, you know, angry or like you know, she ain't had that mentality back then. Mother ain't look at her like that, you know. She was like a regular girl, cool ass, you know. Did she ever get any fights at that age or anything? Yeah, she was getting into fights at school. You know, like, you know, as kids here, yeah, it's especially in grammar school, you know, everybody get into fights and shit, you know, she didn't, she didn't fight my and shit, you know, but. You know, who are some of the early guys and some of the first people you meet from STL that we know? Uh, I'll probably say it had to be uh, Pressure. Like me and Pressure, we used to we used to be in, it's crazy we used to be in tour when we was kids. Like I told you, we was like how we used to throw eggs and shit. Like when we was kids and shit. Like one day and shit, uh, we was throwing eggs at his crib and shit. You know, and his OG came out. We actually did hit his OG with an egg and shit. Then we was kids. We probably like well, 11, 12 type shit. You know, he just moved around there and shit. You know, I found him. We ended up getting to it. Like he was fighting and shit. You know, and we it's crazy. We ended up becoming cool as hell. Bro, that, that's Brody. Preston was the first person I met. Junior high comes. You know, what What kind of student are you in school? Are you like an A student, B student? Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really even, I ain't really do shit. You feel me? Like, I ain't even, I ain't had shit going on. Like, I was, I was, I got kicked out of public schools at one point in time. Like, I ain't really, you know, I was, I was learning shit and shit like that, but I wasn't like, you know, progress report one, look, one looking good, report card was definitely one looking good. I had a, probably about one eight, you feel me? But shit, hell no. Okay, now, uh, what's Ki like in school? Is she a good student? Man, Ki was smart as hell. I ain't gonna lie, Jakara, she 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 was smart as hell. Like I ain't gonna lie, like in every every subject you can think of, like she was smart as hell in that shit. Like anything, like she getting A's on everything. Hella last was smart as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Okay, now uh, you mean pressure? Now, do you start meeting more of the guys? You know, like, who were some of the next guys that you guys meet? I think I end up meeting probably, I think, probably, it probably, I think Dutch. I want to say Dutch. I end up uh, meeting Dutch. My uncle and shit used to, with his sister, you know? So, I think I had met, uh, yeah, I met Cho. Okay. Now, uh, you know, you meet Dutchie, Pressure, you know, are you still like a kid at this time? Or are you, are you, 
Are you in the streets? Have you jumped off the porch yet? No, this ain't even, we ain't even off the porch yet. This, this, like, grammar school days, like, we fighting this shit, you know, but we ain't dangerous. We ain't, you know. What about Duck? When did you meet Duck? I think, I want to say the first time I met Duck was probably, I want to say 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yep. And that's crazy. I have this, this, uh. I want to say when we was, when I was in, we was going, me and Kay, I was going to Carter. Because his cousin Scrap was going there uh, from MLB, Brunt LeBron, he was going there. You know, that was my boy. So we was in school together. So me and Scrap, we had, we was messing with this same female. So shit, we ended up getting into it and fighting about the bitch. So Duck ended up popping up or some shit my first time meeting him and shit. I'm like, man, damn, this your cousin. And shit, he like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. They feel me and Duck locked in, you feel me? Because folks, them, you know, they had moved down our way because, you know, they really from 39th type shit. You know, they, they really from that, um, the low end. So shit, around that time, shit, like 8, 08, 09, 10, you feel me? They was just migrating over there, you know? You know, start that shit. You've met Duck and Scrap. What was Scrap like back then? Because I heard Scrap was a pretty wild dude. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. My was wilding. We weren't like doing normal shit kids was doing. Like we was in steamers and shit. Like you guys, any motherfucker to that bitch. Like we used to be, we got two, three motherfucking steamers, dark, just joy riding shit, getting in high speed chases and shit like that, riding around smoking weed, doing shit like that. That's what we was doing when we was in school as kids, stealing cars and doing shit like that. That's what we was doing. Fighting motherfuckers, beating motherfuckers ass and shit. Did you ever get in a high speed chase? Shit, yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, I went to uh, the Audi home for like two of them. Yeah, I ended up getting caught twice. Take me through it, man. Who who were you with? The first time I was with, that I got caught, I was me, Pressure, uh, Long Live My Boy, Man Man, Get Right, uh, and who else was with us? Me, Pressure, Get Right, and K.I., yeah, it was just us. We, uh, like on setting knife, police pull us over. I stop for them. They get out of the car, take them on the chase shit. They all, they scream and shit like, pull over. I'm hell no. Now we in the chase and shit. I hit like three, four blocks. We all hop out. Everybody running this shit. You feel me? Everybody ran their separate ways. I end up getting caught. They end up getting away and shit, bro. So you're the only one that got caught? Everybody else got away? Everybody else got away. Damn. Okay, and what about the other one? The other one was, it was, I ain't gonna lie, this one, uh, Butter, Butter, he was with me. It was me, Butter, K.I., and Pressure. I forgot what just happened. Like, it was some shit going on in the hood. Like, uh, some shit going on, and the police was hot as hell. So we had left. We just had got a new steam. We ended up pulling back to the hood. You know, this at this time, the hood was so hot. Like, the police, you would see them ride through on bikes. They walking and sitting on porches and shit like we do just out kicking it. So shit, we hit the block. Soon we hit the block. Like three, four detective cars, they all on us. So I got a, I bagged back and took them on the chase. Now we, in the chase, we all through our hood. Ain't no, you know, ain't no catching us through our hood. You feel me? So we in the hood, we probably go through 63rd strip, hit, uh, hit up, uh, St. Lawrence. It was a one way. We hit, we hit up that bitch the wrong way. Went up the one way. You feel me? Hit back the other way. You feel me? Took it all the way down to College Grove, hopped out. You feel me? Now we running. You feel me? Now we get the KI, she went somewhere. Me and Butter, we had went to the same spot because we was right by each other. You feel me? So we ran into somebody's basement. So we just down there hiding. We hearing the police. We hearing the sirens. So we just, we down there for like an hour. Oh, bro. So she, I'm like, man, I think they gone. You feel me? Butter, like, he like, hell no, nah, bro, they ain't gone. Just wait a little bit more. I'm hell no, nah, I've been back. I've been down here all this time. So I, Soon I leave, walk out, they whoop, whoop. On the phone, that mic on me. Whole time, he's still down there. He ain't even moved on bro. So I'm like, they end up booking me. His ass end up getting away and shit. On bro, I end up seeing his ass. He like, when I told your ass, man, don't leave. But that's how that shit happened, on bro. Damn, damn, okay. So you and Butter was tight at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up, hell yeah, we was all, we was locked in. I ain't gonna lie. Growing up, shit. You remember how you met Butter? 
Man, it's crazy how I met, but I uh actually uh it was doing some, some fighting shit. I met him doing a fight or some shit. He ended up stealing on me and shit. Oh, bro, that's how I ended up meeting him. Oh, bro, like, I ain't know who he was. He ain't know who I was, feel me? Well, then, like, he was on the deuce. Like, he was just like them Washington Park days. We used to go to Washington Park and shit and, and shit. So, shit, we used to go in crowds, you feel me? It's about like 50, 60, 70 motherfuckers out here fighting each other, you feel me? So, you know, we we don't know who they fighting, you feel me? But shit, somehow he ended up he ended up sticking me, yo, bro. He ended up sticking me. On folks, on folks, I ended up trying to stick his ass back. You feel me? And bro, them like, boy, y'all tweaking what these the guys type shit. You feel me? Like, oh, I right, bet. You feel me? That's how we got end up meeting this shit, on bro. Okay. Do you know why they hit you? He, he thought you was the ops? It'd be so many, like, if you in the crowd, you were like 70 motherfuckers fighting. You feel me? And this one, like, see, me and Butter, he from the Deuce. I'm from the Trey. You feel me? We don't know each other yet. We ain't even never seen each other yet. You feel me? So, what what's the deuce in the tray, bro? Oh, uh, sixty third. You feel me? I'm I'm from sixty third in St. Lawrence. You feel me? Shit. Okay. I'm from sixty second, and like Vernon and shit like that. You feel me? That's that's the deuce. You feel me? That's the original. You know the deuce type shit. You know. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So shit. Um. He uh so he we he from over down from over there so we don't even know each other this is our first time seeing each other so me so many fighting shit he probably looking at me I'm looking at him shit I don't know him shit I'm probably stick his ass too but he ended up sticking me first so shit but once my noticed like we was fighting each other like boy y'all last tweaking boy he from down there you from right here boy oh shit my bad type shit you feel me so shit that's how that happened you guys were both from sixty third at the end of the day type shit okay. Okay, you meet Butter. How do you guys become friends? Shit. You weren't mad? You didn't want your get back? <laughs> At first I did. I ain't gonna lie. At first I did. You hear me? But shit, I got to that fighting shit. Like, we, we had biting them up. We beat they ass so bad, you feel me? So we was just shit smoking, smoking Reggie and shit, laughing about this shit and shit. Like, laughing that shit off. Shit, and that shit, we just got to kick me after, after that day and shit. We got the kicking it, you feel me? Like, this before even uh, K.I. was even the picture, you feel me? Me and Butter, I knew Butter before K.I. knew Butter, like, you feel me? I'm the reason they even know each other, you know what I'm saying? Because of me. I brought him around, you feel me? Her, and they got cool, you feel me? If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't even be cool, you know what I'm saying? If I would have took that shit personally, what he did, they wouldn't even be cool, because he wouldn't have been around. He wouldn't even be at my mama crib, none of that shit. He wouldn't even be around. How did they meet? Shit, like I told you, like, uh, me and Buddy got cool. Shit, so shit. He come to the crib and shit, like, you know, I'm with him. We we locked in, so shit. That's my twin, so he, like, so if he come to my OG crib, he gonna see and shit, and, like, I'm from the grade. We all get the kid together, you know? So wherever I go, you feel me? Jakara, she coming with me, you feel me? And Buddy with me now, so now, they, now we all building bonds, and they building the bond too, you feel me? So, like, that's how that shit came about. When you were growing up, were you and K.I. always hanging out, or did you kind of have your own crowd, and she had her own crowd? No, we was always hanging out. Like, she, her crowd was not. We was the same, like, the same people, like, she was hanging out with, I was hanging out with. Like, we all had, like, our crowd was, like, the same people. Like, it was the same. It always been the same people. Okay. You mentioned a lot of fights. Yeah. Did you get in a fight with any ops that we might know? Or anybody we might know during those times. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, I ain't never got into no fight with no more. The child probably. Hell no. Nah. nah. The child probably know. Okay. Shit at school, miscellaneous motherfucker, but nobody, you know, nobody's. You mentioned McAdoo. Is there anybody else you grew up knowing? Shit, I knew, uh, uh, uh C Day too. Shit. They used to go to school down the street from us. Shit. We used to play basketball with them all. We used to hoop with them at the center all the time. Okay, that's pretty crazy, man. Yeah. I mean, were you guys good friends? Or you guys just know each other? No, oh, shit, we know each other through, through basketball. Shit, we used to, we was kids. She used to go to the uh, little center and shit. They had around the corner. We used to go up there and hoop and shit. You feel me? Duck used to be up there hooping and shit, too. Like, yeah, my used to be up there hooping. You feel me? It wasn't no bad blood, you know? Back then, like, you know, everybody was cool with each other. Like, that shit was... Everything was cordial with everybody. 
Was that the was Chief Keith up there too? No, nah, see, look, it's crazy. Uh, Keith, he um, he was in the area like this. This before he even got big, like this. I even like like T Slick too. Like I know T Slick personally. You know, like I grew up around him. I told you I was going to Carter. I was going to Carter with his little sister. You feel me? So shit, like I know his mom. I've been in their crib, all that shit back then. Like you know. This before they got like hot rapping and shit. And film. He was living on uh, on they was living. He was living on Fifty Fifth, Fifty Fifth and Wabash, on like the uh, like the third floor or some shit. Oh, then they just started getting a little buzz with the rapping. T Slick and them all and was rap, up there rapping and shit. Um, bro, these like man, hit this shit. They come on the back porch with the uh, boombox playing that shit. Oh, bro. So uh, T Slick was rapping also at the same time as Chief Keith. Yeah, he was. They was rapping together. When I okay. when I when I met when I met him, they was rapping together. Then they was up there rapping together. Oh bro. When did you first meet Chief Keith? Uh I wanna say oh nine or some shit like that. Yeah, like like oh nine. Yeah. Would you meet him at the basketball center or how'd you, how'd you guys meet? Shit, like in that little uh in that little, on 55th in that little building, in that little complex, you like, Emma, like, from that area, used to be through there. You feel me? Like, like, all the time, you feel me? We used to run through that motherfucker, you feel me? That was like the hangout spot back then, you feel me? In that area, on bros, like, we all in the back, you feel me? So, shit, they out there, too. They out there playing their music and shit, so, shit. I be I was over there, shit, when I was, like, then the air day, shit, so, shit. I ended up bumping into them, shit, on bro. And that's how that shit happened, and we... But I already knew who he was because his daddy, you feel me? His daddy, his name Big LG, like he he originally originally like from like from our side, you know. Keith was originally hanging, you feel me, on our side of town too, you feel me? Like he originally from, you know, around that way. Like my just like uh tweaking with him, treating him and shit, like you know, like he was goofy, so he moved around, you know. But I already knew him because his daddy, you know, like, you know. Okay, so his dad's from Jaro, right? From from what I understand, that's why I th I believe Butter told me that in an interview before. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if he claimed Jaro or not. You know, I just know he from he definitely from in that area somewhere. For sure. Okay, and and Chief Keith used to hang out when he was real little. I take it in those areas. Is what you're saying? Yeah, he used to be over there. He used to be hanging. Okay, did you ever run into him over there, or you just heard about him? No, nah, I just heard about him. I ain't, I ain't, I don't even run into him until fifty fifth, Wild Bash. That's the first time I ran into him. Oh, uh, okay, and he was already at that point, already hanging with dudes in O Block and everything. I take it with the BD dudes. Not necessarily, cause like O Block one, O Block back then, like it wasn't even, it wasn't even like that, you know, like. Like he was hanging with, the only before he was hanging with, he was with, you see him that day, he was with T Slick, my uh, Dooski, uh, his name, yeah, Dooski, Doo Doo, one of them, uh, and shit. Come on, my, but it wasn't really, I don't even know if they was BD or just, cause it wasn't even really no gang, like we weren't even on no gang shit back then, so I won't even be able to tell you if they was. If he was hanging with GDs and BDs, because um, it wasn't even that. He was okay. hanging in Parkway back then. So, shit. You know, that's where he was hanging at. 55th and Wabash right there. Okay, now, at what age do you and KI jump off the porch? Uh, I'll say I, I, I did... Uh, like... <clears throat> Okay, like we had this different times. Like I feel like we was in the streets already, so I was like, I feel like we was already off the porch. You feel me? Like in the streets. You feel me? But we wasn't active in the streets doing shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I think shit after um Tuka died. Shit, that's when like I was like. Like, I'm finna, like, I want to play with guns and shit. Like, no, I was seeing guns, like, holding them and shit like that, you know? But, like, at the two of that, I was like, shit, I want to play with guns. Like, I want to see what it feel like to shoot one of these motherfucking guns. Like, I want to, you know? And shit, she with me. So, shit, whatever 
I'm doing, she seeing, you feel me, whatever. Well, if I'm hanging with whatever we doing, she seeing, because we got her. She with us that day. She ain't going nowhere without us. So, shit, wherever we go, she going. So, you feel me? She still dressing like a girl and shit. So, I know she's seeing us, you know, with these guns and shit like that. Like, you know, so I know this shit, because the shit interests me when I first seen this. So, I know she like, damn, I want to see what them motherfuckers shoot like, you know? So, shit, that's how that came about. Okay, you mentioned Tuka, and I believe you were there when he actually was killed. Can you, can you take me through that day and, you know what I'm saying, your experience with everything? Shit. Shit, yeah, that day, shit. Uh, like, shit, was one of them normal days, shit. We out running the streets, just, you know, smoking, chilling, running up and down the blocks, you feel me? Trying to holler at some females, doing shit like that. Shit. This was, this was probably... Like this, like after school though, yeah, after school. Cause I ain't, I don't, I ain't even go to school that day, on bro. I ain't even, so I didn't get up, folks. I didn't, I was already outside. So when he got out of school, he came right to the hood. Well, he was already, you know, so he came right to the hood and shit. You know, he ain't even go home. He ain't even go check in. He sometimes, you know, he'll go. I had to go to the crib, go check in from school and shit. Not gonna pop back out. He ain't even go check in. You know, he just went from school straight to the hood. You know, we out there hanging and shit. Like I said, doing normal shit. After school shit, running the streets, doing that, smoking, doing all that shit, shit. Shit, later on that night, shit, it's probably, it started to get dark and all that shit. Uh, his OG guy called him and shit. Like, uh, where you at? Uh, come home and shit, you hear me? He like, all right, I'm finna be on my way. I'm finna get on the bus and shit. Go on him, he get out the phone, so like, yeah, I'm finna go to the crib, my OG just called. So she was like, all right, bet we can walk you to the city third bus, so bro. Four of them, they all in the city third though, like ten deep, you feel me? So I'm like, shit, we finna uh walk you to the uh bus stop. Oh bro, so shit, we walk to the bus stop. We out there just kicking it, shit, talking to each other and shit, laughing and shit, doing, you know. So shit, my sitting there and shit. Walk up. You feel me? You walk up and just these walk up and just stand there. You feel me? You feel me? He got a bass on, you know? But, like, he got one of the masks on us, like, where it's just, like, a certain part of his face covered up. You feel me? You can... If you, if you know him, you can see who he is, you know? So, shit, we, like, shit, ain't nothing going. It's cold and shit. So, we ain't thinking shit of that. Like, shit, it's normal motherfucker. You feel me? So, now, so, shit, we finished talking. Shit, we finished talking. He, he looked. He asked who or something. He uh... Hey, you know what uh time the bus come? He like Tuka like hell no. Nah. Now Tuka he go walk in the street and look, cause you can look and, and he like, I right, matter of fact, I see the bus that motherfucker all the way down there. It had to be probably by Stony. You feel me? He looking, it probably gotta be by Stony. We on 63rd and St. Lawrence bus stop. So he gotta be he's looking and see the bus, see it coming from Stony way. So he's like, yeah, the bus coming. Shit, everything go back to normal. We back talking and shit. Like in like two seconds, like it happened so quick. Like, it's like I look this way, then look back that way. Fool, he had he had that bitch out, you feel me? Um, folks, he, 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 um, um, from them gray, like, he, he, he. Yeah. Shit. Man, did you guys have any idea that you had, I mean, ops like that? See, it ain't even like. No, you feel me? Hell no, nah, not really. Hell no, nah. but it's like shit. That shit was on, that shit like, I don't know, even know, I, ain't, I can't even say that because I can't even say, you know, that was on no op shit, you know, so I can't even say, you feel me? We had no op, you feel me? Because it wasn't even, that shit that happened with bro, that shit wasn't on no op shit, you know? That shit was more personal than also, awesome, you know? Op shit, that shit was different. Okay, now, but this happens, you know what I'm saying? What's your first reaction? At first, I'm shocked, you feel me? I probably pause. It probably feel like I pause for a quick second, but I know I pause probably for like a minute, just like still trying to calculate and like, you know? Because like we like arms leaking away from each other, you feel me? So I'm like, I'm watching this happen, you feel me? I just feel like, you know, like I was like, damn, you know? Like, you know? But like when I ran, you feel me? I'm trying to talk to him and shit. 
You feel me? He ain't responding. Like, I knew, I, like, something told I got this feeling like he was dead. You feel me? Like, in the way it happened, you feel me? Like, I I, I watched it. Like, you feel me? that's why I was, like, more personal than on some op shit. You feel me? Like, you got, besides Tuka, you got three other motherfuckers on this bus stop. You feel me? But you up this seven on bro, shoot him. He fall. You feel me? You stand over him and keep shooting him. You feel me? You know, what's, you know, that's like, that shit, that shit, you know, that shit, yeah. that's personal type shit, you know, you know, if it was some op shit, yeah. shit he could have, you know, if it was on some op shit, shit, he had, he just had all these, like, all these faces right here, man, you could have just killed their body, you feel me, but no, nah, you, Tied your mindset when you walked up, you hear me? Like what you was going to do and who you was going to do it to and how you was going to do it to him, you hear me? So shit. It was more personal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, now, the ambulance comes. Is he awake at this time at all or is he responding? I ain't gonna lie, shit. Like I told you, like, why did that happen? I said I took that quick pause. Well, not quick. It probably was like a minute pause. Like, damn, what the? And I looked, and I was like screaming his name, like took, took. You feel I'm on the ground. You feel me? Looking at him, screaming his name, like after he ain't respond. You feel like, and it's just you no. Know, I just had to like he was gone. You feel me? Like I'm like, you know. Damn. Oh, we're for him. So, okay, so what happens next? The ambulance comes or who, the police come? The police was the first people on the scene. And shit, I got a warrant on bro, so shit. I'm like, man, I was feeling like, man, I'm gonna get out of here, you feel me? But I was like, so in shock and like, that I couldn't even really move from where I was at. Like, I couldn't like, in my head, I'm like, damn, gee, I got a warrant from the Audi home from one of them them steam cases that I was stealing the cars and shit from, like, so I'm like, damn, man, I got a warrant, you feel me? But I'm so, like, stuck and traumatized, like, gee, I can't even move. Like, I'm, police grab me and shit, throw me in the car, ask me, like, what happened and shit like that. I'm just, I ain't saying shit, I'm stuck. Like, I'm still trying to process everything, you know? So shit, right, like, 34 minutes later, shit, they just had me sitting in the car, I don't want to say shit to them. I gave them my name and shit. They like, man, you got a warrant. You feel me? They end up taking me back to the Audi home that night. Oh, bro, so I'm like going through it. I'm finna go to, they just killed my best friend. I'm finna go to jail. So now I'm in, in, the, in, the, in the station processing all that shit. All this shit on my mind. I'm like, damn, I'm going through it. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the f And I'm a kid, you feel me? I'm 13, so it's like, I'm like, man, this shit crazy. Damn, okay. Was K.I. there also when this happened? Nah, she wasn't even, she wasn't even there. I don't, I don't okay. even I remember, she, let's see that she was in the store with the rest of, with the rest of the guys or she was in, a, in my grandma career, literally like on the same block, but like down the street some more. Okay. Okay. So, but she was, okay. So she was around though, I take it. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, yeah, she was, she was. I'm like, yeah, she was around. She was in uh BT crib on 63rd and St. Long, C347. Um, bro, that's where Duck then was at. All them was at. Like, ran down there and told them shit out there shit happened. They came, ran down there and all that shit. I'm seeing all this shit when I'm in the police car. Yeah. See, four of them all went out the store. They went right down the street on St. Long, go to BT crib. Now everybody ducked them, all of them come running down there and shit, trying to see what's going on. Oh, no. Damn. Okay, so you go to you go to jail. How long are you in jail? When you are they do they keep you for a long time or they just keep you for the night? No, I end up end up uh going back to the Audi home. For like uh I wanna say six months. I ain't sure about yeah, I was like anywhere between like four to six months I was in that month and I had got back out. So you didn't even they didn't even let you out to attend Tuka's funeral. Oh, here now. 
Damn. That's horrible. You uh, go to the, what, what's it called? The Audi home? What's the Audi home? It's basically like a, uh, a juvenile, a juvenile center, basically, for kids. You get out of there after six months, and what do you, you know, what are your thoughts, and, you know, how are you kind of processing everything? Shit, I already had my mind made up, you know, while I was doing that six months, you know, like what type of time and I was going to be on when I got out, what type of person I was going to be, how I was going to change this, change that, you know, and shit. When I got out, I was already, I focused, I was locked in on the streets, you know, now I was locked in, you know, I was locked in deep on the streets. Oh no, I ain't even, I ain't even last that I ended up getting locked right back up, like, Two, three months later, end up going right back to the Audi home. Cause I was I was just on a different I was hot as hell. I wasn't thinking about shit. I was just doing shit. I was just tweaking and my mind was fed up. You get out of jail. Now, you've made your mind up what you want to do with yourself. You want to be in the streets. What what's KI like when you get out of jail this time? Is she still being a kid, being a girl, or is she being that you was gone for six months? Did anything change with her when she got out? I wanna say she 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 ain't fully transitioned over yet, but you can still you can see the little changes. You feel me? Like you can take like the clothes and shit was loosening up and type shit. You feel me? Little shit like that. Like you feel me? She went from you know because I know my sister. You feel me? She was a girl like you know wearing tight shit. You feel me? Trying to get attentions and you know shit like that. So shit, I thought how I did that six months and got out. You feel me? I'm like damn. You feel me? I'm thinking it's a new style and shit like our oh, people wearing these baggy ass clothes or some shit. You feel me? But like now, nah, I'm like, damn, these look like uh, uh, huh? My other, my older brother and shit. You feel me? They wearing each other pants, shoes and shit. You feel me? So it's like, I'm like, oh, she went shit. This ain't even you no know, female clothes. You feel me? But like, that's how the shit. Like she was. That's the little difference I had seen, and I like her, just her appearance and her clothes and shit. You feel me? I'm like, oh yeah, she she been around gang too much. She tomboyed out like a mother. You know, well, she still had on girly shit, but it was like kind of loose, more loose than, you know? Yep, yep. Okay. Now, you said you were, you went back to jail like six months later. Yeah, like two, three months later. Okay. okay. Were you going to school when you were locked up, or what all were you doing when you were locked up? I was going to school and shit when I was locked up. Yeah, yeah. I was like going to school and shit. Taking little classes and shit like that shit. That's all you really can do. Okay. Now you get out of get out of there. Do you go back to school when you get out at any time, or are you do, you done with school at this time? No, nah, I'm done. Like, cause I had I got, uh, I don't remember exactly, but I ended up getting kicked out of public schools. They ended up sending me to like a uh, alternative school, and I ain't like that shit. So I'm like, man, I ain't that shit. I ain't going to school at all, cause I don't want to. Do that, you feel me? They trying to, they put me in class with this, like, uh, what the, uh, they come get me in a little short bus, you feel me? What they call that shit, man? They say, um, learning disabilities, LD type shit. They got me in a class for like four months, you know what I'm saying? They come get me in this little ass bus, you feel me? Hell no, I ain't, y'all ain't gonna treat me like that, man. I ain't gonna do this shit, that shit, what? I'm funny. Okay, and what about KI? Does she, does she ever stop going to school, or what's going on with her school? She always went to school. She was always in school. Like, until she, she graduated, you feel me? And it was over without she graduated. It was, in, it was over with. She was one thing about going to college, you feel me? So she, oh, she, she graduated from high school? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm probably tweaking. I don't think she graduated. She, uh, I'm trying to see, she graduated from, uh, Perspective. I don't even know if that's a high. If that's a high school, I don't even know if that's a high school or some shit. It's probably in, yeah. I know she graduated from a scratch. I don't even know if it was a. Nah, I'm tweaking. Nah, yeah, I'm tweaking. That wasn't even high school. She graduated from perspective though. Um, I think that was that middle school or some shit. I think. Middle school. Okay. Cause yeah, she wasn't even old enough when she was seventeen, so she she can graduate. You know. One of the things that also happened that. You know what I'm saying? I've heard about a lot is Butter getting shot a couple different times. Were you ever around when Butter got shot? Uh, I think I, uh, yeah, one time. I think when he got, I think he got shot in his ass or some shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yep. That one time and shit. And that was shit. <laughs> that was right after uh, the shit uh, where um, he had four bond on the 63rd bus. Right after that shit. Oh, bro. Let, let's go back a little bit more. How did you first meet Vaughn? Shit, through, through school. Like, but this, he not even, he not even, he ain't, he ain't popular at this time. He ain't, he ain't even, he's a killer ward, you know? He's hanging with, we was with killer ward. We locked in with them. And he was killer ward at this time, you feel me? When I, you know? I ain't even never really talked to him, you know, but I knew who he was, you feel me? Because he with them, you feel me? Like, oh yeah, this, this Vaughn, you feel me? You know? So shit, that's how I met him before he was even from down there, you know? So shit, I knew him even before shit. He was, uh, went down there. Okay, because they say that Vaughn used to hang out with you guys at some point, a little bit, with Killer Ward. We was with, uh, yeah, we was with the Ward. Like, we was locked in with them, like, for them, like, you listen to their old songs and shit. They shouting out Freako and shit. They shouting out Killer Ward and them all, let me feel me. Like, they shouting out because we was locked in with them, you feel me? And, you know, Vaughn was from over there. So, yeah, so if he from over that shit and we with them, we bound to bump heads and see each other, you feel me? That's how a lot of them from our side and shit know him. Like, personally, you feel like, know him, like, you know, because my f I ain't just meet him when they got into it with him. No, my f was cool. Just hung out at one point in time. We ain't always been into it. How did you guys first find out that he was hanging out no block or that you guys had a problem with him? Shit, I ain't even, honestly, I didn't, I didn't know. You feel me? I told you, I, I ain't, I ain't, like, I knew who Vaughn was. But, like, I ain't, like, kicked it with him, you know, enough to really get to know him, you feel me? So it's like, I ain't, I ain't know, no, you know, I ain't know nothing about that, you know? I don't, like, um, him and Butter and shit, like, the shit uh, they be having going on, you feel me? Like, they actually knew each other and shit, you feel me? Like, you know? Okay, now, you mentioned Butter and Vaughn on the bus. You were there for that. Can you kind of take me through your from your perspective of what happened? I just remember uh, I'm on my grandma's porch on 63rd in St. Lawrence. I just I just remember hearing loud commotion. I looked off the porch to see the bus right there, because back then you could just uh you see the bus you can like go to the back of the bus and cut that motherfucker off. We used to cut that motherfucker off on my on phone them. So I guess I'm gonna cut the bus off. I see it stop. So I've been off the porch. I see it. Whole crowd of my right there. So I run down there and shit. Bro, I'm running through the crowd. Now I see, I see Butter. He swinging on Vaughn. Um, bro, they fighting, you feel me? Butter getting the best on, you feel me? But Vaughn, he ain't going. He fighting back, you feel me? Now it's killer war in the middle of this, you feel me? And for them, everybody in the middle of this, you feel me? But ain't nobody touch Vaughn, though. You feel me? Ain't nobody from over there touch Butter. Like, it was like, let them fight type shit, you feel me? Ain't nobody jump Vaughn or none of that shit, you feel me? Butter fought, fought him one-on-one, -on -one, you feel me? I'm fought him and Killer Ward and them right there. They trying to break this shit up, you feel me? They breaking this shit up, you feel me? They get it broke up and shit. They woofing. Vaughn walking past. We on 63rd in St. Lawrence. Imagine King Drive is uh, uh St. Lawrence, Rose, Everhart, Vernon, King Drive. So shit, a couple blocks down. So Vaughn get out the bus, shit, get the walking. He don't worry about it, you feel me? He talking shit. I'm for him, he walking back uh, to us the old and shit. I'm for him great. Go back down that way and shit. You know, some shit, little shit had happened afterwards and shit like that. On them, like, that shit was crazy. What did you think when this happened, man? Were you like, you know, kind of like, oh, I thought Vaughn, like, did you know Vaughn was hanging with them at the time? Or did you expect this to happen? That's what I say. I, I was really in the dark about everything that was going on, you feel me? I was in far as him hanging over there. I didn't even know what they what they was fighting for at first. Uh, bro, I ain't even knowing what they on the bus fighting for. I'm just sitting there watching this shit. Shit. Phone them, so they, every, after everything happened, my saying like, well, you know, he be down there now, nah, shit. I'm like, yeah, shit, my f like, yeah. And that was, that was, when it come down like the, uh, I think that's when the real war started between Parkway and us, you feel me, nonstop after that, you feel me? Because there was shit going on, like we was 
But like after that, shit happened. When uh butter beat up Vaughn, uh, you feel me? Like literally, I ain't gonna lie. Minutes after that shit happened, you feel me? Like Vaughn, he went right to the O, you feel me? You know, he was ran down sixty third, running the O, you feel me? It's about like sixty months I had so many months out here, you feel me? Now he ran the O. Nah. Phone that motherfucker standing out there and shit. Motherfucker's like, yeah. You feel me? But out here, like, yeah. Motherfucker just, you know, he talking this little shit. You feel me? He just, what Vaughn and shit. Next thing you know, all you hear, you feel me? You hearing them, them yeahs going off. I'm posting them. So I'm like, talking and covering and shit. You feel me? So I'm like, motherfucker don't know what's going on. Whole time shit. The whole war got started, shit. Make it short, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. The war got started after that. Buddy got shot in his ass. Uh, <laughs> behind that shit. So, wait. Butter got shot in his ass the same... That day? That day. Damn. Okay, I never heard this story before. Okay, well... Literally 20 minutes later. Probably not even 20, shit. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So, and you think that this was like a big turning point. So did this happen before Tuca was killed or did this happen after Tuca was killed? This happened... I want to say... After... Oh, okay. Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to think. Because we was... Because this was High Park Day. This high school was so shit. It had to be... Yeah, it had to be after. Cause it, had to, it had to be, yeah, like, probably right after. If not, like, because shit. We was in high school. I know, in fact, I'm tweeting because I'm trying to think of... They they a couple years old. They older than me, so... Yeah, this was before Tuka died, you know? I'm trying to compare my school to shit with theirs now. You feel They a couple years older than me, so, yeah, this was... Probably, like... 20, 2010, 2011, probably. The be, I think twenty. I can't remember. It's around that time. I ain't. I ain't. I can't even pinpoint it. Okay, so it was way back then. Okay, okay. Was Duck rapping at this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Duck was rapping. Young them. All them was. All them was rapping at this time. Okay, what was that like seeing their come up? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit, me seeing it now, like, you know how, how shit changed, like, I remember, like, we used to be at Young Crib and shit, you know, like, we on, uh, on the laptop and shit like that, on the little recording app, it's called, like, Audacity or some shit like that, and bro, we used to be recording on that type, you know, make it, they make making songs and shit off the laptop, you remember, you see the progression, how that shit went from the sound to the videos, you feel me, like, my like really stepped up you feel me like and from seeing that to seeing that shit now like that shit really like I f*** that shit you know like you know cause that's bro now you feel me and just seeing how they came up you know from the laptop you feel me to duck inside and all that shit you feel me like that shit that shit hit different you know cause my was didn't even expect that you know what was it like when E Day and Duck started dissing each other that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was, uh, it was fun, though. Because, like, back then and shit, like, we was doing more, we was more shooting and shit, but we was doing more fighting and shooting. So it was like, oh, they ass just made a diss song. Four them play that shit. Like, oh, yeah, we finna go make one, too. I'm uh, them so shit. They gonna make they shit, you feel me? Now we, like, trying to go catch one of their ass and beat one of their ass or something. Or send us, go, you know, go to one of their schools and shit. You feel me? So it was, like, it was really fun, you feel me? So, like, they had to do something. And phone like, yeah, so listen to this shit. These niggas just... And they're like, all right, let's go to the stoop. They go sh shoot one back at their ass, you feel me? I'm really having fun with that shit. That's how I really want to having fun, you feel me? Now, an another name that I hear a lot about, man, that I I'm I think you were pretty close with is Little B. Yeah, Rasan, yeah. That's my boy. Talk to me about Little B a little bit, man. How'd you guys meet? You know, what was he like? Shit, I actually met him shit. It's crazy how I met him. 
Like, uh, I had the first time I had met because uh, he wasn't always hanging with the most we was hanging with. Like, he was, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't always from where he was from. So, shit. You know, I ain't know him, you feel me? But, you know, motherfucker hearing his name, you feel me? Especially when he was a shorty. Like, we a shorty, you feel me? But he like, any, any when you hear shorties through anywhere, you're going to hear a little beat. Rossan, like, shorty, like, he was one of them. So, shit. One day, shit, um, one of uh, the couple of older guys from EBT and shit, they uh, gave me and Pressure some uh, blicks and phone them. They like, yeah, we're going to go get wild. So, shit, we got a bet. I end up seeing uh that uh Libby end up popping up like hey G, I'm finna go get down home niggas they out there right now. He like, alright, take Lil Phone with you, they good. He looked at us. I'll never forget this shit. He really like tried to treat him up. He man I ain't finna go slide with no motherfucking shorties. Man, he hell no, nah, man. Who the fuck is these like? You feel me? I'm really like, man. Yo, I was tweaking, you feel me? And I, I got this bitch on me and everything, you feel me? And I'm like, man, I know who he is, you feel me? Before them like, boy, you tweaking, that's a uh, sea ball nephew. He oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 you good, shorty, but shit, I ain't finna slide. I don't even know if they know what they doing, you feel me? So my, like, I'm really blue, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, you feel me? I end up spinning off. The same, he just told me, you feel me, like, fool them, you feel me? Activate it. I step right out on phone them. Next time I see them, he, boy, I'll fuck with you, shorty. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'll fuck with you. Phone them, we was locked in after that. But that's how I end up meeting him on that type, on, on that shit, like, He's like, mm, trying to shorty me, trying to look little, little boy me. Like, I want no shit. Was Little B as wild as everybody says he was? Man, Little B was different. I ain't gonna lie, like. And I'm gonna wanna be on his bad side. Like, I seen them, I seen them pop one of the guys. Oh, bro. In front of everybody. Up on him and popped his ass in the leg. I've heard this story before. It was over a female or something. He was talking to Little B's chick. Yeah. This the uh shit. Yeah, because like, like, this was uh, the day Young and Dutchie was shooting that murder, FBG murder video. Uh, Little B had came to the video shoot. I ain't gonna lie, he got some, some bad, some bad bitch with him, some nice. I'm talking about she, she, she candy. But when he walked up, he told everybody, like, hey, I ain't gonna lie for them. Like, I ain't playing about her. You hear me? Like, I'm popping my, this is Zach Rose. I'm popping my over her. Like, I ain't playing about her. Leave her alone. You hear me? This is my bitch. You feel me? I guess folks ass was the, the dumb one, but I guess they didn't believe him, you know, and tried to back door him for, you know, shit. Folks popped out on the block. You feel me? And did what he did. You feel me? Shit. Ain't no more questioning about it or nothing. Like, he did what he did, and it was that. Oh, bro. Okay, now, hanging around Little B, do you think that influenced you to be more wild in the streets? Shit, hell yeah. You can't be, you can't, you can't even hang around like that and not match some type of energy. You feel me? How like and match? You know what he got going on? You feel me? You ain't gonna be around him. But if he, if you around him, you feel me? that mean he like you? You feel me? With you, you feel me? So he gonna cup you anyway and try to lay the game on you and show you how this shit go. You feel me? What about Ki and Little B's relationship? They 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 built the bond on one of my bids. I had came home and shit. Well, this time when I come home, she fully like stood like she she a stood. You feel me? Like. That girl shit is over, like, through the window, like, it was over with. Like, she, like, you feel me? Like, she, 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 you can make them tell she wasn't no, you feel me? That's at that point, you feel me? They was locked in, like, they started building their bond and started building their relationship. You feel me? I was locked up at the time, you feel me? I wasn't, I was locked up when she went through that, you know, transition from, from being that girly girl. She went from being a girly girl to the, Little tomboy, you feel me? I had missed the tomboy to like she went full blown like I'm folding him like this. Is what it is? I'm, I like hoes. When I came home, did you see that coming or were you surprised when you found that out? No, actually, actually, shit, it shocked me. When I came home and shit, 
I'm following her. She she looking like me, dressing like me. I'm looking at her. I'm, what you got going on? What you? you know, she like, I'm thinking like, this a joke or something. You feel me? Like, why is, why is she playing? You feel me? But she go go to the crib. Her closet, you ain't going to see no girl shit in there. All the drip, you feel me? I'm like, man, you crazy. I'm like, you tripping. She, I got this shit on lock real. She telling me. Everything, like every time I, I was locked up and I came home, she had sent me down, tell me everything that been going on with everybody, with the ops, with the hood. She like laying the whole lick on me, you feel me? Oh, no. Even though I used to call on the phone sometimes, you feel me? She would tell me shit like that's going on. So like, she tell me everything, literally. If I miss out on anything, she going to tell me. I come to crib. If I was gone two, three years, I come home, she going to tell me. She going to sit there and tell me everything that happened. In that time frame, you know what I'm saying? So, but I ain't see that shit coming how it came like that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, especially the respect level, like, feel me? I, the point I knew, like, she was for real and it was real. The first day we went back to the hood, she brought me with her. You feel me? It was a different type of energy when she came around. Like, some of you felt like some of was nervous. You feel me? Some of them like, damn, I go, uh, you know, chaos, you know, like. So I'm like, I felt the difference. I'm like, damn, she like, you feel me? I'm like, okay, cool. But it was a whole different energy, like how people talk to her, look at her. You feel me? Like, I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on here? On phone now. Get out of the, the streets than did to my twin. Oh, bro. She a whole different motherfucker. Oh, bro. Then I just got to seeing her. You know, do her, but in a different version, not in the girl version, a whole different version. I had I had seen two different versions. I got two different versions of you feel me? So like, you know, I probably got more of the girl version out of her than the savage version, you feel me? She, she's only a savage for shit for like some years, you know? Well, that shit happened. Shit. Okay, now... So were you locked up when she jumped off the porch? I say like, she been jumped off the porch. I said I was. I'm gonna say I was locked up when she. See, like she been off the porch when I was out. You feel me? But she went off the porch as how she was. Like it was a different. Like her being off the porch as a girl is different from her being off the porch as. You feel me? I was locked up for her being off the porch as a d you know, I had came home probably two, three, probably four months before like she transitioning like that old that Jakara was gone. You feel me? Like my mama and shit, we can still see it in her, but ain't nobody else gonna see it in her, you feel me? Like she ain't gonna get it like that type of side to no more else, you feel me? My grandma and them and her brothers and sisters and shit like that, yeah, but other than that, hell no, nah, she was gone. Okay, now, a lot has been put on, you know, her changing or having a real big change or turning up when Taekwon was killed. Were you around when this happened? And did you see her go through anything? Uh, Honestly, I was locked up when uh, that shit happened to Taekwon, but... She uh she was going through it. That definitely was a big uh change for her and shit. For them. like after that shit happened, I used to talk to her every day. You know, I was locked up. I used to talk to her every day. You feel me? And I can even hear it in her voice. You feel me? Like that shit. That shit hit different with her. You feel me? It, it, it made her a different person in a way. You feel me? Like it even made her wanna do even more evil shit, you feel me? Because, like, we was kids, but, like, shit, Taekwon was a kid. Like, that shit hurt. Hurt everybody, you feel me? That shit even hurt the motherfuckers that did it. You feel me? Like, that shit, you know? That shit, that shit, that shit hit different. Okay, what did you think, you know, about your sister being in the streets? You know, did you ever try to talk to her? Try to slow her down, or were you just kind of going through your own thing at the same time? Shit, no, I ain't tell her nothing. You feel me? Because it's like, how could I tell her something? I'm in the streets with her. 
You feel me? So how could I? I'm in the streets with you. How could I sit there and tell you you need to do some shit? You feel me? You gonna look at me like, man, you doing the same shit I'm doing? You feel me? So shit, we was doing it together. So I can't even, you know, couldn't even say that. You know, like chill out. You feel me? Cause I'm doing hot shit too. I'm in the streets too. You feel me? We doing shit together. So it's like I can't even tell you chill. You know? Damn. Okay. Her being a female and being in the streets. You know, how do you think that affected everybody around her? Or, you know what I'm saying? Do you think things were different for her? Or do you think things were the same for her as, like, a dude? No, I think for sure it was different. You feel me? I think that's a that's the main reason she probably wanted to be a... You feel me? Like, it was different. You feel me? Like, as I told you, because the interview, just the, the energy, gee, when I first seen it, see, I'm like... Gee, they ain't even... They don't even... Talk to her, treat her the same way they used to when she was dressing like a girl. Like probably back then, like she was, she was on demon time back then, but not as as much. You feel me? Like a mother can get away with saying some shit or looking crazy back then when she was a girl. You feel me? She a girl. You feel me? When she transformed, you feel me? She was she was folding them like she she shit. And then motherfucker don't dare to do nothing, say nothing, look crazy, oh, bro. Like it can go down any given moment. Bro, it can go now. Well, that ain't me saying like she, like, a lot of motherfuckers be talking about how, you know, that's how they talk about us, you know, how many people she killed, how many bodies she got out of that shit, you feel me? But that's a real person right there, you feel me? Bro, that's a, that's a person, you feel me? Motherfuckers ain't seen like you would think she an evil person the way motherfuckers talk about her. Hell no. But she it. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely been... Uh, I mean, she's been, you know, she had documentaries. Yeah. She's been a, a huge topic of conversation, accused of a lot of things that we're going we gonna to get into a little bit later in the interview. But, you know, seeing and hearing all that, man, you know, what do you think it was that kind of gave her that, you know, like there was something special about her. You know what I'm saying? She stuck out more than the average a girl in the streets. Yeah. She was just... Like even when she was like a girl, she was different from other other females. You could tell like she was, you feel me, different, more tougher. You feel me, less feminine. You feel me, girly but less feminine. You know, like she was always like a, you feel me. But it's like when I when like she like and I had her in her head like man, I'm, you feel me. I like pussy. You know, that's what it is. Like. Shit, all types of shit. You feel me? When you once you imp, imp, imprint something in your brain like that, you ain't no more gonna tell you different. You feel me? And if any tell you or treat you like you ain't that, you feel me? It's a problem. You feel me? Was there any specific situation that you that you seen with your sister that made you go, okay, damn, she is not the same girl that I knew? Yeah, a lot, a lot of time, a lot of shit, you know. Shit, I ain't shit, uh, I ain't gonna be getting too much detail about it, but like shit, you know, she actually seen, you know, some of the shit motherfuckers be putting on her name and shit, you know, I actually personally, you know, seen her, you know, type shit, but yeah, I ain't gonna get into too much detail about it. Okay. K.I. and King Vaughn start having this Twitter talk and these Twitter conversations, and these kind of, fl they're flirting with each other online, but, I mean, it's, uh, it's obviously probably sarcastic flirting. You know, were you out around this time when this was going on? And, you know, what what are your thoughts on that? No, I sent it. Uh, I went out, but I, I'm, I'm hearing about it through, you feel me, Jakarvis, you know, you know, not calling and shit, you know, she tell me. But um, she, she, like, damn, yeah, tell me about, you feel me, like, the high head about this shit, straight from her, you feel me, she like, man, let me tell you, I've been, you probably hear about it, let me tell you about it, or you probably gonna hear about it anyway, you feel me, she like, uh, uh, me and Vaughn, we've been, uh, on Twitter and shit, tweaking with each other, you know, capping with each other and shit, that's what she said like that, so we get, I get to laugh and shit, yeah, she talking about, yeah, bro, he talking about he like me, you feel me, get to laughing, you feel me, so we like, just laughed about that shit type shit, you feel me. 
But that's how she told me. That's how I found out about it when it first happened and shit. But shit. Okay. Now, there's been this rumor that K.I. and King Vaughn ran into each other and fought on a bus. Is there any truth to that? Did they ever meet? After they met, I don't think they got into altercation when they met, though. Okay. Do you know how they met, or were you there? Yeah, shit, like, uh, it was, it was back in the day, shit. Like, before, uh, you know, uh, when Disco Vaughn was Killer War, shit. I told you, my just seen him, like, especially during school days and shit like that. Yeah, my used to see him, he used to see us, you feel me, like, my knew who he was, my seen him. Uh, you know, another name that, you know, is real popular in the drill scene, man, is Little JoJo. Yeah. Did you ever meet Little JoJo? Did were you around when he did the uh, the BDK song? You know, I I, uh, I met him one time. I ain't really know him, but I met him. I met him one time. You feel me? I f with his energy though. Like I f with him. You know, he he turned. Like he he's he turned. He all the time he turned. You feel me? But I only met him one time. Oh, bro, he had came on sixty third. I met him one time. Oh no. Is this the time when he had the fake dice? Nah, no, nah, I don't think it was that time. I think this, this, uh, when he had, uh, first, like, when we first start with them, this, like, in the beginning part, you feel, before he even, like, they even start coming and hanging on 63rd and shit. This, like, when he first start, you know, coming over there and shit. Bro, he the one shit got us with them. He came on 63rd by himself, man. Blicked up, you feel me, like, shit. Man, y'all in tour with dude now. We in tour with fool now. Last link, you feel me? So shit, it was was locked in from now. But that's how he came by himself, you feel me? With nobody, no entourage, none of that. She put up on the tray by herself and locked in with a motherfucker. Oh, Were you in jail when all that happened? The uh, BDK song? Oh, I think... Yeah, I think I had, yeah. I was locked up when it came out, but I had got out, like, uh, when it was busting and shit. Like, but when they dropped that shit, I was, uh, locked up. And I had got out, though. What was it like? When you get out of jail, this song is going crazy. Shit, it was going crazy and now, shit. Yeah, my f like, you heard that new song and shit? Like, it was going, so when I got out, shit, being around it, you feel me? Being around the motherfuckers that's in cahoots, you feel me? With him and see this nigga, you feel me? Like, you know, being around these. You feel me? Like Duck, Lil J and shit, you feel me? So shit. They was locked in with JoJo, so shit. You know, you see them, shit. You see JoJo, so shit. Like, oh, bro, so being around them, like, made it even more exciting, you feel me? I'm like, you know, that's bro them. What was the reaction like in jail when the song dropped? Shit, motherfucker. On the dough singing that shit, like, just making another motherfucker mad as hell, like, anytime motherfucker. Like uh, get into it, one of the BDs or something. They just be trying to, they just get to singing the song just to blow their ass on for them. They used to be mad as hell. Damn. And were so were you, were you out when he was killed? No, I was actually locked up when he got killed. What was the jails like when he was killed? Shit, it was fucked up too. They were like, damn, they just uh killed little JoJo. You know, I'm like, man, get the f out of here. I had called K.I. I don't know. What are they talking about, man? Somebody had talking about something. You feel me? She's like, man, psh, I don't really want to talk about that shit. I don't know. I already knew what it was then. I don't know. That's f***ed up. Oh, no, you know, I ain't even doing anything like that. I just knew he was an outstanding member. You feel me? I know if he would have made it, he would have brought us with him. So, shit, that's all I'm gonna need to know. Oh, no. Was K.I. and little JoJo locked in? Did they know each other? Yeah, they was cool. They was cool. She she knew him. She knew him better than I did. Now, growing up, you know, seeing all this violence and everything, going through everything you've been through, did you ever get shot yourself? Hell no. I ain't never got shot. Okay. You're probably, you're probably one of the few people who I've talked to who, have, who haven't been. That's crazy, bro. But I've noticed you were in jail a lot. Yeah, I was saying a lot. I've been in and out of jail a lot. Like, shit. Most of most of most of my life, shit. Do you think being in jail saved you? 
Yeah, shit, 100%. I ain't going to lie, I think, yeah. Now that I look at it here, yeah. Hell yeah, that shit saved me. Damn. Damn, that's crazy, man. Talking to you and, and hearing your other interviews and everything, I do hear like a lot. Like, oh, I was in jail, I was in jail, I was in jail. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. I was probably, the longest I've been locked up, shit, was like the, the beat I just did, like, then at that seven years. Well, like, any other time, like, the most I probably did was probably six months in Audi Home or Lil DLC or some shit, and I'll be right back out. That's the most time before that seven years that I ever did, you feel me? So it was like I was locked up a lot, you feel me? But like I was in and out, like I uh, come to the hood and be out there, shit going on, and I'd be locked back up. So any one of the guys that didn't see me uh, prior, the next time they see me is like a year, because they ain't see me in that six months I was out, you feel me? So it's like, damn, he was locked up for a year. Hell no, man, he was just out six months ago, but he ain't see me, so to him, I was locked up a year, you feel me? Okay, I'm gonna take it back. I'd like to talk about Tuca a little bit, man. How how did you guys meet? Uh, so he had he had moved in in, in the neighborhood, and I think I had met him at the 63rd store one day. Yeah, I met him at the 63rd Street, 63rd store. And shit, we had got cool and shit. Well, I think uh, the first time I think I seen them, I think Dutchie then was trying to jump on them or some shit. Somebody was trying to, uh, one of the guys or something was like, because he was new over there and shit, they just moved over there, so shit. They was trying to jump on with some shit. That's when I first seen him. like, damn, I ended up seeing him again in the store, and I actually talked to him, though. He was like, what's up, bro? I'm like, what up? And shit. He was like, uh, you know where they got some weed at? Shit, we was some Reggie type shit. You know, it was back then. I'm like, yeah, shit, we was end up getting some Reggie and shit, smoking some Reggie together and shit, and we got cool like ever since then, shit. Yeah, I think when I interviewed Dutchie, he said that he originally didn't, uh, or they just didn't get along, or everybody kind of was messing with him or something, and his mom came out with the bat? They went to his house or something like that? Yeah, his, his, his mama don't be playing, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, gee, she don't be playing. Oh, bro, she... <laughs> <laughs> she will be playing at all. So, what was Tuka like, you know, growing up with him or, or knowing him back then? Shit, he was, he was, he was a fun motherfucker to be around. I mean, he was a couple years old. He was probably two. He was two years older than us. So it's like he was, he was, he, he was already doing different shit. You feel me? Experience different shit that we already then experienced and shit. So shit, like he used to just be showing us shit, like showing us different shit, like. Man, yo, y'all can go down here and do this and do that and do that, showing us different shit, you feel me? So it's like, we got the f with him, you know? So shit. Like, when he f with you, y'all locked in, like, he'll fight a for you, you feel me? Like, he'll get into it with anybody for you. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, he just, he a rider, you know? When he f with you. What was it that made him so loved? That people had, you know, you guys renamed your hood after he, after he was killed and everything. He was just a cool ass kid. Like I don't know, it was just like it wasn't just us that with him. You feel me? Like then everybody from the hood got had their mama or their grandma or they did live in the hood. G, you feel me? They even loved Tupi. You feel me? My mama and shit. Me and Kay shit. We out late. You feel me? My OG can't find us. She called Tuka. Hey. I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Go find their ass and bring their ass back. He chasing us, trying to get us. He just go back. How he gave him twenty dollars? We can get high with it. Just go back. Um, bro, like we ain't just the only one. everybody with him. You feel me? He cool. Like, bro, he he kind hearted. Bro, he gonna help him off. You feel me? Like, he help him off. Uh, like old ladies and shit in the hood with groceries and like just doing shit like. You need your uh, grass raked the mold or some shit. He gonna do that shit for free. You feel me? Like, motherfucker, he was just a, a cool, good kid, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Do you have a favorite story or anything you can share hanging out with him? I have to say, my favorite and scary story. It said this like it happened at the same time. Uh, it was me, Dutchie, Tuka, and my my homie Jacoby. We had, we just scratched him up out. We just beat him up as we beat him back. Me, Dutchie, Tuka, and Corey. So shit. 
Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, Devon was with us too. That's Tuka, big brother. We just beat him up ass. We on the now. We go back to Tuka career. We on the porch laughing about it. The, that we just got down on him. I guess he sneak up, sneak up on him with a pole. He cracked Tuka in the head, cracked him over his shit. I'm talking about it's so much blood. I ain't never. I'm thinking like. It's so much blood. I ain't never seen this much blood. You feel me? Like, folk, it's like he losing so much blood that he faint in and out. You feel me? Like, like he'll be talking and shit, then go out. You feel me? He's tell you losing blood. Dude, he try to run and shit. You feel me? So we hawked his ass down. Beat him. Beat his ass all the way to the Amalams. We got there and beat him in the Amalams. All type of shit. Then the funniest part, Tuka Mama, she had come out. Like, what the fuck happened to my son? We like, man, this just hit him in the head with a pole, but don't worry about it. We just scratched his ass out here in the MLMs. She that she grab a pole, go open the MLM door, trying to get to him. We like, OG, oh, you tweaking. You feel me? Like that shit was fun, but it it was scary too, because we didn't know what happened to folks. But like once folks was good and shit, like we was laughing about that shit for years. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit out of my I still thinking about that shit. Uh, is there any rumors that you want to clear up or, or things that you've heard said on the internet that, that uh you know you might have a difference of view on? Yeah, shit, uh the shit about like uh, a lot of I've been seeing them post about uh I seen college kid. Then they have my post about Snoop Post to be playing KI, all that shit, you feel me? Like you feel me? Like don't really be even knowing what's really going on when it comes down to certain shit, you feel me? Like the pictures and shit that they had found and shit, you feel me? Like, the only reason they got them pictures is because I leaked them, you feel what I'm saying? I leaked them on my Instagram. That's how everybody got them pictures. Ain't no more had them pictures of K.I. and Snoop, but me, my mama, and Snoop, you feel me? I ended up leaking them up, you feel me? And not taking the pictures, putting, posting certain captures and shit like they know what's going on or they need to but they don't even, you know, know what's going on, though. Like, that shit, they don't even know if it's in the works, you feel me? It's just an idea at the end of the day. You know, I've been hearing rumors about the documentary for probably a couple of years now. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know anything. Is there anything being worked on, or anything that you could talk about? It's some shit that's uh definitely in the works. You know, I can't get too much in details about it. You know, but it's definitely some shit in works. You feel me? Uh, with that, with that little process, whole process, it ain't even just like the movie and shit. It's just. A whole lot of shit that's in the works, you feel me? I be want to talk about the shit, you feel me? That's why I end up posting the pictures, you feel me? I end up taking them down. But shit ain't matter. They already even had the pictures screenshotted off the page, all type of shit, you feel me? But it's like the other motherfuckers, you feel me? They like, man, they don't want to put that out there yet, you feel me? Give out certain information. So I'll be like, shit. All right, what up? You know? Shit. Duck rapping and Dutchy rapping, Young dra- rapping, FBG and... You know what I'm saying? Things are things are cracking off for you guys during that time, man. You know what what's your thoughts, man? You know what I'm saying? Like like what's what's duck like during those days? Do you have any stories hanging out with duck or you know what I'm saying? What what was that time like? Shit, that time growing up, I ain't gonna lie, it was it was fun. And it was probably the most funnest times in the street. That is like, you know, since the streets were in the streets. That shit was it was fun back then, you know. Cause shit, we was like I feel like, I feel like since, since the day my duck had moved from since the buildings got closed down and shit, all that shit, since they then, you know, transition, they family and shit from our side, from that side to our side, like, from that day forward, it was like, shit got better. You feel me? Shit was better. Only that thing, duck, you know, brick them, his family shit, all them, they, 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 them up, they made, I, I, I hood different, you feel me? Especially coming with that rap shit, you feel me? So, like, Duck back then, you know, he was just... Everybody yeah, looked up to him. I ain't gonna lie, everybody looked up to Duck. Like, he was like, to us, like, he was the face, you know? Like, he making the way for us, you feel me? Like, and he be on bullshit. Like, what? Well, like, if you know him, and she be like, oh, Duck cool as hell. But, like, Duck really be on bullshit. He a cool ass nigga, but he be on bullshit. You make him mad... He don't be on bullshit, you feel me? And he don't play about his, you feel me? Like, his homies and shit, like, his brothers, like, he don't, he don't play about that shit. Oh, bro. And he, when he 
with you, he rocking with you, you know, like right or wrong. If you, you can be right or wrong, G. You know, if he with you, you straight, bro. Do you have any stories hanging out with him that you could share? Yeah, for sure. Like, shit, I used to be with Duck all the time, shit. At one point, shit, for like two months, three months straight, I was with him day in the head day. I used to be sleeping at, sleeping on uh Mama Duck couch. Oh, bro, so shit, like, I used to be with him, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, one situation and shit, like, I don't know, I think after the situation, he f***ed me hard and I f***ed with him harder, you feel me? We in traffic and shit, it's me, uh, me, him, uh, Billy, and Brick. Oh, bro, we in traffic. I think we going to Billy crib, this when Billy was living in the hundreds and shit. Police get behind us, detectives. Imagine we got like four, four thirties in this. Everybody got blicks on us. Police get behind us and shit. I got two thirties on me. You mean police get behind us? Shit, they pull us over. So we got to tell the cops so they can't even see who in this motherfucker. Brick driving, ducked in the passenger seat. Me and Billy in the back. Shit, they like man. Uh, we might need y'all to get out the car. Type shit. You hear me? Or some shit, some goofy shit, you feel me? Now, Brick, like, he got his window let down just a little bit. You feel me? He like, man, what you, we be getting out the car for? You feel me? Like, what, we don't doing shit. Two more cars pull up and shit, you feel me? Now, they behind us and shit, talking about let down the back window. You feel me? Ah, so we let down the window, shit. Now, man, I got two, I got two guns under my jacket. That bit, the jacket on, on, on my, uh, on my lap, so I'm like, man, we gotta get out. They from the city's bitches. I can't make those sudden moves. You feel me? But just like the duck got the tweaking on their ass. You feel me? Him tweaking and shit. Like he was on some like third to some like you know how motherfuckers be talking about like they rights and man, you can't do this and do that. Folks turned up on phone and when I turned, I turned up with his ass. Like man, we ain't even do shit. You feel me? The car don't smell like weed. None of that shit ain't shit going on. You feel me? But us getting on their ass. They they got right out of there. I ain't gonna lie, we end up going live right after they let us go. Showing we had all type of thirties in that motherfucker. They ain't even know this whole time, but shit. If it weren't for like folks thinking, me and his thinking, like shit, shit, shit would have played out different. Like how how the situation, how we came about the situation. Yeah. I've heard about that there was like a couple rumbles or a couple times when O Block came deep looking for you guys or possibly looking for butter or anything were you around for any of that yeah they used to uh shit they used to do that shit we used to do the same shit like we they have march on our shit and shit we be marching on they shit you feel me like i ain't gonna lie uh back then everybody used to be just looking for butter like and like they used to be beating people ass so shit you just be them people, brothers and shit like that, cousins and shit like that. So shit, he my putting up to the hood tomorrow. Some which one of y'all butter, and bro? Like, man, you feel me? Like, man, your ass tweaking, you feel me? But we knowing he just whooped him off ass or something, you feel me? But like, far as like the motherfuckers was in tour with, yeah, they they didn't march on our shit. We didn't march on they shit. Like that's just what we used to do. Okay. Now, I interviewed Jay Hood from O Block, and he said that Ki was always taunting O Block. She would drive by on her bike and and just always messing with him, taunting him, and everything. Ki was like a pest. Literally a couple days before that, nigga, I remember her riding on a bike. Like, you know, taunting us, and nigga, we trying to chase her back on the block, but she get out of that skirt on the bike, she gone. And nigga, I, I, she was somebody that, like, you, we hate it. And it's sad, you know, even thinking about, talking about these stories, you know, in the newer me, bringing me back to the old, the old me, it's just like, it just always put me in a position, a state of mind, or a, a, a state of in my spirit. Like, nigga, y'all was so evil. Yeah, shit. The way shit, we was into it. I ain't gonna lie, shit, like. That's the shit, like, we feel like we gotta do. Bro, like, shit, we gonna ride past them. They do the same shit, you feel me? Go, uh, 
Because, like, our hoods and shit so close, you feel me? So if they on King Drive, 64th, and we on Everhard, 64th, we can walk in the street and look right in O-Block and see if they standing out there. So sometimes the shit, they'll be posted right there, waving, like, come on, check it out. What y'all on? You like, all right, don't worry about it. Well, shit like that, you know? Man, that's close as hell, man. That shit a couple blocks away. When your sister passed away, were, were you in jail when this happened? Yeah, I was locked up. I was just finna come home. I was uh <clears throat> probably the day she she had died. I probably had probably like nine days left till I came home. Yeah, so I was all the way home. Yeah, and that shit happened. You know, I had made it home. I had made it to the front of one air thing. You know, so I was already. On my way home, I had an outdate. So that shit had happened. I'm like, that shit me up. I'm like, damn. Cause my already on the phone talking about she saying what she got for me when I get down, like when I touch, how shit finna be. You hear me? That shit. So I'm like, that shit crazy. How did you get the news? My mama. Yeah, yeah. Like, actually, the motherfucking counselor came and got me. I'm like, man, what the fuck you want me for? Like, y'all got somebody on the phone for? I'm like, what the you mean you got somebody on the phone for? I'm in a, I'm all the way in the office. Like we don't even supposed to be up here. If you, I'm used, I'm used to using my pay phones, secure phones. This motherfucker, I'm in the office talking about somebody on the phone. I'm I already get like, man, what the fuck type of weird shit you got? Like what's like? I already felt that it was some some goofy shit. Like you know, I'm like, hello, she and like, it's my mama voice. You feel me? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, you feel me? But I already heard in her voice, uh, something was wrong. What do you feel? But I ain't thinking it was that. You feel me? I'm thinking, I don't know, I just, I didn't think it was that type shit, you feel me? Shit, so, she told me that shit, shit, I was like, shit, I don't know, shit, I was. Damn. Trying to process shit. Okay, so you get out of jail. What is your mind state like? You know, how are you processing everything? Uh, I was angry, like, and I'm still wasn't even processing at the time, you feel like, I'm in a funeral and shit, like, you feel me, I keep, like, having my walking up to me and shit, like, you feel me, I'm really, I really didn't even want to, I was nervous to go in the funeral for some reason, you feel me, like, I don't know, I just felt like I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't see her, you feel me, like, I was like, my mom like, man, you know, get close, you know, to the casket and shit. I couldn't, like, it was like a feeling, you feel me? Like, I, I just, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like, I was standing there, you feel me? I couldn't even look at it, you know, like, I was, shit, still trying to figure out, you feel me? Like, process all this shit, you feel me? And I'm in that motherfucker asking everybody in that bitch, like, man, what happened? You feel me? Who did this? Who did that? What's the word? Oh no, let's go, you know, splack everybody type shit. Bro. Damn. Okay. How does this change you? Shit. Shit, cause it's shit like I don't know. I just she uh she always she always been there, you feel what I'm saying? She always from the streets, like even from, from grandma school, from like, from when I first entered the streets, she was there. You feel what I'm saying? Even though I feel like, like, every time I got locked up for them little months and came home, back to the same shit. It was like a cycle. Back to the same shit with her. With her. You feel what I'm saying? So I was like to, knowing after every bid I came home off of, and I did the same shit, you feel me, with her, she was there. You feel me? It was that one bid. When I came home, she went out, and that shit hit me different. I'm like, damn. No, that was, that was, I still, I couldn't believe it, oh, bro. Shit. Damn. Okay, how does the uh, hood change? Shit. After she passes away. Shit, that shit changed a lot. Uh, a lot. Because it was like, her and Lil B, like they death was so close apart, you feel me? Like, 
Like, that shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers ain't know how to, like, move, you know, and how to, like, you know? That shit. Motherfuckers was lost. Everybody was lost, you feel me? That's like that, you know? With Duck, you feel me? That shit happened. Dude, everybody lost. That shit. One of my That's some shit that, you know? That ain't them ain't regular people that we talking about, you know. This shit going, you know, these different type of that's that that, that lost their life, you feel me? That's different. They ain't a normal US citizen, man. Like bro. I believe at one point around two thousand seventeen, you get locked up. Yep. This is where you do your seven year bid. Yeah. I take it, right? Yep. So can you talk about that, or you know what I'm saying? What all did you go to jail for during this time? Shit, uh, my original uh, charges was a uh, murder, robbery, and a UUW, aggravated battery, discharge of a firearm. That's what I got charged with in 2016. Shit, that's what I was fighting. I was fighting that shit for about from the beginning of 17 all the way to, I want to say, 19 to the beginning of 19 and I ended up uh, taking a plea 14 14 years at 50% of shit you know what I, mean? I had to do seven you're older now is this your first time actually going to prison yeah that was my first time and everything before this bid was juvenile you know what I mean? so that was my first time as an adult going to prison like that was that was different What's it like for you now, now that you're older? What, in prison? Yep. Shit, like, it's different. Like, see, that's why I think, like, that's why I say, like, you going to, like, the Audi Home and Lil DLC, they tricking your ass. You know, they, like, because that shit's sweet, you know? It's, you know, thing like, then they got game systems and shit. They throwing pizza parties and shit like that. You feel me? So, now you thinking, like, oh, this jail? Oh, this ain't shit. I'm going to keep me in bed. But really, they setting your ass up. You feel me? Like, oh, you think you're going to keep doing this shit? You feel me? As minute your ass turn 18, do some shit like that, like, your ass going down. You feel me? Like, it's a dip. Like, when I was younger, get caught with a stolen car or a gun or some shit. I go do six months, be on house arrest and out of home and shit, get some intensive probation and shit to be done. You feel me? Nowadays, your ass going to do some years. Like, you do that shit while you a dope, it's a difference. Your ass, you going down. Like, you feel me? And I ain't really, I think the Probably the first year I was locked up, I was probably like still in denial about like my charges and shit. Like I'm like, man, I'm thinking like I'm finna get right out. I'm thinking this shit like the Audi home or some shit. But it ain't really hit me till like the second year. Like, gee, I'm this motherfucker fighting a 30 one life sentence. You feel me? Like this shit real. It's a chance. You feel me? That I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make it home. You know? So shit, I had to realize that and be like, man, shit, man up and type shit. <laughs> Did you run into any ops when you were in jail this time? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah. Anybody that we know, is, uh, you know, uh, who all did you run into? Uh, shit, I didn't. I was on deck with she, uh, OTF Didi before. <clears throat> he was upstairs, I was downstairs, type shit. Uh, yeah, I was on uh, uh, on deck with him and shit before, for a little bit. Uh. I would never, I had seen the uh, uh, top, but I don't think I, I ain't seen them like, I had seen them and shit like, I think we was going to like the gym or some shit and they was going like to, to eat and I seen them on a the walk, you feel me? The nigga uh, boss top from O Block, I had seen them a couple of times, but other than that, like, I ain't gonna lie, I always run into ops when I'm, when I'm locked up. You know, they don't be on shit though, like, you know, I ain't even saying I be on shit, you feel me? Because I be, Chilling, you feel me? Honestly, when I be locked up, I'm not even going to get on that with an op unless I know them, you feel me? If I don't know your ass, like, it's points in me finna jag myself off and I don't even know you. You just seen you from over here. I don't even know your ass, you feel me? I'm already, once I hear my deck, you feel me? I'm already going to call out there like, hey, bro, you know him type shit because I don't know him. Folks going to be like, oh, hell no, I'm like, oh, here, goofy, you feel me? But if I don't know the and I call out there, folks and like, hey, man, his ass one of them. Boy, he was just out here, you feel me? I got to scratch him out then, you feel me? But that's the only how I'm going to get into it with a op. If I actually know you and you actually cause harm or did shit or talk shit or trolled about my homies or something like that, that's the only time I'm going to get on my ass. But if I don't know you, 
This shit pointless. Bro. Did you have any fights with any ops in jail or anything you could talk about? Oh, I ain't gonna say, I ain't, all the fights I got into was, now the fact I'm lying, I got into a fight with a uh, nigga named Ballhead from O-Block. They call him Ballhead. He had got locked up. Uh, he was locked up for like a, a murder or some shit. Yeah, I had fought him and shit. I don't know if you know him, but I had fought him. Uh, I think that's about only my f- from the offside I had fought. What what was the fight like? How how'd you guys get into it? We ain't gonna lie. We had jumped his ass, you feel me? But then he had started, oh bro. Like shit, he was just uh he had came on deck. Like I ain't know this, you feel me? So like I ain't know him personally, so I'm like, man, they like yes from O Block over here and shit. I'm like, yeah, they're like what's his name? Like ball head and shit. Well he say he ain't on that, you feel me? He just trying to uh, do his time and go home, you feel me? So I'm like, I respect that, you feel me? I don't know his ass, you feel me? I don't let it be. So like a day or two later and shit, my I'm telling like, yeah, uh, shorty from O, and uh, from O was sneak dissing on you and shit. You feel me? Saying this and that, talking crazy. I'm like, man, he just said he went on that. You feel me? Now I'm like, right, all right, cool. Now I'm on that with him. You feel me? So my come out to sell and shit. I'm right, bro, you was just, you like, no, I ain't like that. I took off on his ass. I'm right, bro, get to scratching him out. You feel me? Phone them, hopped in. You feel me? I ain't even tell them hop in. They just hopped in and shit. I'm like, we stumped his ass up. So shit. That's it. Was that your worst fight in jail? No, I had a couple fights, but she I think that was probably that was the only op fight type shit. All the other fights was just like uh miscellaneous and shit, fan ass and shit like from out west and goofy like but than that, like shit. I think I had I had my, I had I ain't even fight I had one altercation with some other motherfuckers. One one time this was when I went to the joint though. I was in Pigneyville when I first got down there. I end up uh, landing on the deck and shit. Kind of find out it's like it's like two months from O Block over here, from six hundred, come off four six. So shit, I ain't the type of nigga. I ain't finna duck shit. You feel me? I ain't finna bank myself off the deck none of that. So I stayed. You feel me? So one night and shit, uh, it was just nigga his name uh, Ray Ray or some shit from the old and shit like that. Look, um, Ray real or Ray Ray whatever. To call him, but he on the door and shit, singing one of Vaughn's songs and shit. And I hear him say something about two. You feel me? So I like, I get on the door. I say, Who's singing that song? He like, There's Ray Ray and uh, Sale, some shop. You got what Sale in? I'm like, Right, get out the door singing that shit before I get on your ass. You feel me? And he like, I bet shit. I'll see you in the morning. So now I come out in the morning. I'm on the phone, and I come out in the morning. I approach him and shit. Now it's like four, five, six. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'll see what type of town y'all on, but I ain't back down and shit. I'm like, man, what's up, shit? We gonna do what you gonna do, you feel me? I understand, so you from, where you from, where you from? I ain't ducking shit. I'm not from the lead from over here, you feel me? All I'm asking, I ain't telling you you can't sing a song, so all I'm asking is blank phone them name out of that shit. You don't know what you sing or what you do, you feel me? But when you bringing up that type of shit, we gonna have to do what we gonna have to do. Like, that's it. I'm phone them. Shit, that's it, though. And that was it. Yeah. Okay, now, you were in jail when Vaughn blew up. Yeah. What was that like? You know what I'm saying? And people are people are singing his music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's uh, yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Yeah, shit, my was, uh, yeah, yeah, my be singing this shit. You feel me? My phone I'm like, mm, that shit. It be irritating shit sometimes. You feel me? Only certain songs and shit. Like, of course, I'm gonna be upset. My Sing the song, you feel me? Time to say something about Tuka. I don't give a fuck if you don't like, if it's just a fan or some shit, like, you feel me? Don't say that shit. I don't get a fuck, you feel me? But you're gonna get a warning, you feel me? Just because you a fan, you don't know what you're saying, you feel me? But don't say that shit around me or none of that shit. Don't say none of that shit. Oh, no, I ain't trying to hear that shit. I don't give a fuck. It's just a song. I don't get no fuck. People done die behind shit like this. I don't get no fuck. It's just a song, you feel me? But of course, I'm gonna be sensitive when it comes down to him saying uh, Tuka name, you feel me? Oh no, like or that uh, one song he got that uh, not from sixty third shit. You feel me? I ain't got everybody on after Jimmy. He got all these fan ass rappers and shit, even bringing it up and shit. Like that shit goofy as hell. Like I heard it, uh, Tusi. He had a song or some shit. I was with his music. You feel me? I was locked up when I heard it. I was with his music. 
and shit. So I'm on the tab, listen to his music and shit. I hear a song. He dropped out. I hear a song. And he said some shit like, uh, I got a girl from Chicago, but I f*** with Vaughn. So you know she ain't from 63rd, you feel me? So I'm like, you feel me? I'm like, why you got to say that? You feel me? Like, it's a million places in Chicago, you feel me? Why you had to troll about that, though? Like, that shit goofy as hell. You don't even have to do that. You just a fan of that shit, you know? At what point does your sister become this famous, bigger than life type of person? You know what I'm saying? Persona type of thing where she gets really famous and, and she becomes really known. Shit, I ain't, I ain't gonna say, uh, I say she got famous when she died. You feel me? To us, that ain't how, how people talk about it right now. Like, shit, like that, you feel me? Like her being her, you feel me? Like that shit, like in the hood, that shit, how she was, was normal to us. You feel me? That shit, like, don't excite us, like, to the point where we're like, oh, she famous, you feel me? Like, you know, motherfuckers that's, you know, different, different, you feel me? But it ain't like, we don't look at it like it's fame, you feel me? More likely, like, shit, notoriety, motherfuckers. No, you know what you do and shit like that, yeah, you feel me? But we don't look at, like, the guys and shit, like, oh, even like shit, like, duck and, like, young, like, you feel me? We see, like, Dutch and them, all them, like, you feel me? Other motherfuckers, like, damn. They'll be around them, like, we around famous motherfuckers, you feel me? But to us, that's just folk them, like, that's bro them. Like, ain't no, we don't look at it like fame, you know, that shit, you know? We ain't on the outside looking in. Uh, I want to say after Taekwondo, I think, you know, she officially got stamped as being different, you know? Okay, I see. Now... When you were in jail, uh, you know, are people like, yo, that's your sister? Like, like kind of like tripping out? Like, damn, okay. You know, so we done heard all these stories about your sister and everything. I really, yeah, I, I only, like, I know how my be, so I don't even really be talking about it. Like, when I meet them, I don't even bring it up, you feel me? I don't even, like, say shit about it, you feel me? They'll find out from somebody else. Like, damn, man, I ain't know this whole town that was your sister. She'd be on some fans, you feel me? But I don't be, I don't like the attention. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, they can keep that shit. Like, I don't, when it comes down to fame and shit like that, I don't want that shit. You feel me? I know it come with it, you know, but I like that shit irritating. You feel me? I don't want to walking up on me and shit. Like, and just be, you know? Nah. Yeah, man. Okay. Brick, uh, you know, you and Brick were pretty close. Yeah, that was my brother. Were you in jail when he was killed also? Yeah, I had just got locked up. Damn. You know, what were your thoughts on that whole situation? When did you hear about that? Shit, I was uh in the county shit. Really shit, I was probably only like six, seven months in. Shit, I was uh my girlfriend was uh ducking them cousin at the time, brick cousin, so shit. I'm talking to her. Then every day, you feel me? So it's crazy. I had just talked to him. That's why you feel me. I'm like this shit. You know, I just talked to him and shit. Like literally, like right before it happened. He like, I'm like, what you want? He shit. I'm fucking on St. Lawrence when they shoot a music video. You feel me? I'm like, all right, cool. All right, I love you. Keep your head up and shit. You feel me? This was probably early, earlier that day type shit. So we end up locking up. They doing count and shit. Like on that night, probably about eight o'clock, I call, I call my girl and shit. She crying and shit. I mean, what the f wrong with you? You feel me? She like, man, they killed Brick. You feel me? I'm like, hell no. Nah, you feel me? That's the only, that's the first I said, hell no. Nah. I was just talking to folks early. You feel me? So she like, man, no, nah, he gone. You feel me? I instantly like hang the phone up and shit. Like, man, told the CEO lock me up on bro. And shit, I was just in that motherfucker. She was trying to. Piece shit together, you know? Damn. Damn, man. I'm sorry for all your losses, man. Damn, bro. That's crazy, man. I hear a lot of good things about Brick. So a lot of this stuff happens when you're in jail. Yeah. A lot of stuff happens when you're in jail, man. You know, what's your thoughts like, you know, being in jail and having to go through all this on the inside? It was hard, you feel me? But as me looking at it now... That's probably was the safest places for me, cause like the shit I was thinking at the time, like 
jail. I probably needed to be in jail to be like, man, I'm tweaking. Because if I was out there when shit like that was going on, like that shit was happening in the phone and shit like that, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like if they was, if I was out, I don't feel like that shit would be happening. Feel me? Because I'd be on a different type of time. But like, if I was out and shit like that was happening, like phone like that shit would hit me different. Because I actually can do something physically. Like I can actually. I ain't just gotta think about it. Like, damn, I'm in jail, man. I wanna do this. They just did this to bro. Like, you feel me? I ain't, I, in jail, I'm just thinking about it, reminiscing about what I wanna do. If I was out while that shit was going on, shit, I probably would be in jail forever or dead, shit. So it's like, I don't know, because the way I was thinking, like, you know, I probably was in the best place that I need to be while shit was going on. You feel me? It was, it, it shit hurt. One of the things that happens, I believe, when you're in jail is the A&E documentary drops. Right. Now, what are your thoughts on the documentary? I ain't, I ain't even, uh, I watched it up into the part to, um, uh, Fool came on there this shit. I was like, man, they trying to be funny. Y'all trolling. I ain't watching it. It was over with. So I ain't even really watched it, the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was with it, you know? It's crazy. I ain't even, I feel like they was trolling. A&E, whoever the Produced that or wrote that shit, you feel me? Phone them like, I'm trying to figure out the way to sue their ass because y'all, y'all trolling. You feel what I'm saying? Then, y'all ain't asked my mama, could y'all do this? Y'all ain't reach out and say shit or ask nobody to do nothing. Then y'all in this trolling, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, why would y'all put that man on there, man? Like, why would y'all do that? Like, y'all trying to be funny. What the f Like, I don't understand. Like, why would y'all do that? You feel me? For him to come on there and uh, talk about the tweets. How he liked it. That's why y'all did it. Come on, man. Like, that shit goofy as hell. Like, who do shit like that? But, yeah, I thought I uh, seen that shit. I was like, nah, I ain't even watch it no more. Like, then I was I was in jail when it when it aired, so shit. My celly, he didn't even have a TV at the time, so shit. He was wild. I let him watch my shit. So when it came on, it, you know, but soon I seen him. I cut that bitch off. You My celly was mad. See, I want to watch that shit, man. I ain't, you ain't watching that shit in here. You feel me? Like, I was so mad. I'm like, man, that shit, hell no, nah, that shit over with. You feel me? I was even mad with my uh, the next day. Even my am banging on the door. Hey, G.I., come to the door. You watching this shit, shorty? You feel me? They got rid of it. Like, I'm like, man, I ain't even trying to hear that shit. I'm all, I'm blue. You feel me? Like, man, these people playing. They, 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 they playing crazy like this shit, a game or something, like a movie. This ain't no episode of Power, man. You feel what I'm saying? This is real life. So you feel like that they did it on purpose? They knew the history between her and Vaughn? Yeah, everybody knew the history, you feel me? Especially the streets, you feel me? Ben knew what they know, you feel me? It just went out there to everybody and to the public, you feel what I'm saying? So shit, information that, most information that uh they be getting and shit like that is from people that probably knew some shit or been around, you know? But some shit be accurate, some shit don't be. But it was just the whole, uh, narrative that a motherfucker was pushing like you know on that shit you know like what was y'all purpose of doing that likes clicks like man that shit goofy as hell yeah i hear you it's pretty wild man why do you think they didn't reach out to your mom or anybody in your family because once they got to talking about who was going to be in that motherfucker that shit was gonna get turned down through the throat. You know what I'm saying? It's like shit. Because if you asking us about shit, you wanna make this and make this about that. You feel me? We gotta put our input on that shit. You feel me? We gotta tell you what we want. You feel me? You gotta tell us who the f you casting this. Shit. If we don't like it, that shit ain't gonna go. You feel what I'm saying? So shit. I guess that was the reason. We weren't gonna prove for most of the shit that they had going on and shit they were saying in there. We weren't gonna prove that shit. That shit back. Well, I'm great. Okay. Well, about a year ago, we start getting uh, paperwork starts getting released about the duck case, the old block five or old block six investigation. And paperwork starts coming out. And I believe in the paper, they print or they say, you know, or, or in the paperwork, you know, they say K.I.'s brother 
told feds that K.I. killed O.D. and named King Von as her killer. Yeah, for sure. I seen that. Uh, I actually had a newspaper while I was in jail. Somebody sent me the news. Somebody brought the newspaper to my cell while I was in jail. Like, boy, they talking about you telling. You feel me? I say, what? Telling no who? I ain't even got no rapping. You feel what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Telling no what? He all oh, you some shit uh with the feds with uh duck. I say, huh? I say, bro, I've been in jail, bro, since way back when. I ain't got nothing to do with none of how, how the fuck is I'm you feel me? Like I am confused, you feel me? So now I'm reading this shit, you feel me? The first name popped in my head, G, when they get to saying this shit was butter, you feel me? I'm like, but at the time, you feel me, he like, man. Hell no, I ain't snitching, you feel me? He denying this shit, and he merching it, lying. He merching it on everybody he know, saying he ain't telling, he ain't did that, you feel me? But he lying. Some of some of know what he going on, like, got know what he got going on, but other motherfuckers like, damn, he said it wasn't him, so shit. It gotta be uh, k got other brother, you feel me? So now that's that shit blowing me, it's blowing me, you feel me? Because that's like, man, nah, you can't, you can't, that's one thing you can't put on me, man, like, you know? You ain't gonna label me that. You don't leave me no rat, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what was blowing me. That's why I really got on his ass, you feel me? Like, bro, you feel me? Like, you know what you're doing. Then in the interview, he got asked about the shit. Like, uh, it's saying some paperwork saying that you snitching. You told the federal agents this. He, hell no, nah, man. You know, okay, I got another brother. You feel me? So him just even saying that, knowing he snitched through the door, and him even saying that, he basically just threw that automatically on one of her other three brothers that she got, you feel me? Like, you just threw that on them, you feel me? Like, basically, once you said that, I feel them. So, that shit pissed me off. Okay, now the trial happens, and Butter takes the stand. You know, what are your thoughts on that? I know you've been outspoken about Butter, and you and Butter have kind of had some issues going on. Shit, I just feel like he, he wrong for that, you feel me? Like, first off, you feel me? You was in jail when Duck got killed. You feel me? Second off, you didn't see nobody do anything. You ain't heard nobody did shit. You feel me? So what is your point in here being a witness, a witness in this case for? You mean, why is you a witness? You weren't even around when this murder that they in trial for going on. You feel me? But come to find out. What he's why he wrong is he wrong at I ain't saying he 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 blames some shit on the motherfucker that's dead, you feel me? He ain't get nobody locked up, you feel me? That's cool, you feel me? Well that ain't all he did, you feel me? Like he is a witness, bro. He a witness on shorting them case, man. O block six, whatever you wanna call them, what what they is. But fool them. The nigga that's uh allegedly locked up for killing duck. They he told on them, you feel me? The prosecutors asked him, was he willing to help build a RICO case against them from shit that happened decades ago? You feel me? K.I. been gone 10 years. You feel me? Then everybody that he brung up that was dead been gone decades and more. You feel me? But self Vaughn, that's the only one that was uh, recently, you feel me, that passed away. So shit. It's like, you and this you... On this stand line, telling these people, bringing this shit up from years ago. Same shit that Woody and them supposedly did to Thug and them, like Bill Rico. They got shit from 2012 and now, from shit Thug and them had going on when it came down to drugs, hits, all that shit. You feel me? It's the same situation when it comes down to a month. You helping them out. You snitching. So how you not helping nobody get locked up? I'm just confused on what you mean? You ain't telling nobody. You ain't you ain't got nobody locked up, man. You just you feel me? I, I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas got theyself locked up. You feel what I'm saying? But he helped out. He played a part in securing a conviction. Let's just say that. And that was his plea deal of being free for immunity, I guess, or whatever the he say. Because I guess he was gonna go to jail for some shit that he ain't do or K.I. ain't do in the first place. So I don't even know what the how that even came about but all right now one of the things that he said when he was up there was that you know ki killed od and i think you've already spoken out against this yeah 
how'd you feel about that? You know, seeing that, hearing that, you know, him doing that on the stand. I feel like he bogus. He was looking for an out because everybody know, literally, people probably don't talk on it or say shit about it, but everybody from the hood that's in the streets know that K.I. didn't do that. You feel me? That K.I. wasn't around, Butter wasn't around, none of that shit when O.D. got killed. You feel me? Mothers always felt like she was claiming it or he was, or they was claiming it. You feel me? Of course it's going to feel like that when, you feel me, the that that you around supposedly had ends on the situation. You feel me? Like, of course my like, yeah. Like, don't do shit all the time. You feel me? But you see how I many be talking about duck folk. You feel me? And be saying this and that. Niggas that ain't even met him or even seen him a day in their life. You feel me? And he had nothing to do with that shit, but that ain't stopped him from claiming that shit or saying, oh, that's for them. They get down on his ass. You feel me? I'll be, I'll be with fooling them and they kill him so I can claim it too. You feel me? So it's like, you know, shit, people be doing shit like that. But he know, butter know that she didn't do that. He know that for a fact. That's why I'm upset that he said that. Like, why would you lie about that shit? You feel me? And it's really like, it ain't even about the fact. Cool, you ain't get nobody... You feel me? Twin dead, you feel me? She can't go to jail, even if she did do it. But it's the fact that she didn't do it, and you still sad, you feel me? She still got motherfucking little siblings, brothers and sisters and shit, you feel me, that ain't even involved in gang activity, you feel me? What if a motherfucker wanted to be like, oh, damn, she the person behind my people's down? I'm finna go kill one of her family members, uh, you feel me? He think he not hurting no motherfucker because the people that he telling on dead. But if you forget, they still got family. Brothers and sisters, homies and kids and cousins and shit that can that might want revenge, you feel me? If they trying to get revenge on some shit that never happened, some shit you made up, you feel me? That's crazy, you feel me? You shouldn't even say that, you feel me? Like that shit goofy. Well, I believe at one point Little J posted a picture of him, Butter and KI. Yeah, I, th I don't know what you talking about. Playing two twins and kill all these type shit. Yeah, made the O. Yeah, that shit, that shit about, you feel me? But like, they just ran with it, shit, cause shit, who not? You feel what I'm saying? They, you feel me? They put, they put all that, you know, they putting that shit on them, you feel me? But a motherfucker like that, some people like that type of tension. Some people chasing that image, a killer image, you feel what I'm saying? A, a thug image. Chasing that image nowadays, so a motherfucker be like, say some shit like, man, boy, I heard you. Hell yeah, I did that shit. I'm like that. You some just be, you know, I don't know why she said she did it. Even I don't never think she publicly said she did it at all. You feel me? They going off a picture that uh, another posted. He wasn't even there saying that they killed the motherfucker. They two twins that made. You feel me? Yeah, and they always call butter. They call him butter her twin. Yeah, they be yeah, they be saying that. But he not. He know that. I believe you were also in jail when Duck passed away. Yeah. What was the jails like when Duck passed away? Shit, that shit was bad. Like I ain't gonna lie, that was like. I feel like when Duck died, that shit. You feel me? Impact so many. You feel me? That shit impact life. You feel me? Like that shit was different in the jails and shit. You feel me? Like different in the world, folk. Like you know, a, a legend like that, folk that that leave, you no, know, too soon. Feel that shit. That shit shape history type shit. You feel me? Like I was in jail going through it. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's when Duck died. It was different. Duck death. Like everybody death. Up until Duck Duff G, like, made me want to say that street shit. Like, anyone, like, everybody else I lost before that, I was like, yeah, I'm finna get out of that. I'm on that with the ops, you feel me? I'm finna slide before them rivers. It's up there. You feel me? But it's like, when Duck died, G, that shit made me not even, like, want like want to say that shit. Like, gang banging, all that shit. Like, when that shit happened to bro, like, I'm phoning because, like, Duck not supposed to, you know, die, you know? That's the... 
You know, he shaped the hood. You know, he put on for it. Like, that's the soul of the hood. Everything, you know. Like, a motherfucker like him not supposed to die. You feel what I'm saying? So, when he died, that shit hit me. Like, man, I wanted to, I like that shit. You feel me? But I'll be seeing motherfuckers trolling folks and doing that shit. Feel me? Making me want to jump in that shit and get on motherfuckers' ass. You feel me? But, like, I really be like, that shit, you feel me? Like, that shit hit different when I lost bro. Like, that shit just made me want to give give up on, on the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, damn. Yeah, man, it was, uh, I mean, out here, man, it was it was pretty surprising to everybody, man. It was, you know, it was. I don't think, any, you know, where it happened at, too, man, it was like in this, you know, super rich area. I don't think anybody ever expected something like that to happen there. Yeah, for sure. Just a couple months later. In November, King Von gets killed in a, a completely unrelated situation in Atlanta. He uh, ru runs up on Quando Rondo, starts punching him, and uh, little Tim comes out from the back of the car and, and shoots him uh, four or five times. And uh, he dies from this. You know, you're in jail. You know, the history with him and your sister what's your thoughts you know what, what's your feelings you know are you uh you know happy he's gone you know what do you what are you thinking at the time yeah no i ain't gonna be happy nobody did got took away from their mama or kids and shit here and i ain't gonna never be happy about that shit but i was like i don't know i was feeling i was feeling all type of shit you feel me but at the same time i was like in a way i was mad you feel me how he had went out you know what i'm saying like that ain't because you feel me I feel like if he was gonna go out, you feel me, imagine him going out, it wasn't gonna be like that, you feel me? So I was mad, you feel me, that he went out like that, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Because, you know, we from the streets, you feel me? We used to like motherfuckers dying over some some war that didn't been going on for 10 years, you feel me? Got caught, you feel me? But like how that shit happened in the place it did, I was like, damn, you feel me? He went out like that, you feel me? I'd be mad as hell, you know? Like, you know, he ain't even, you feel me? He couldn't even, you know, defend himself, you feel me? He was one of them, you know? He was known for being like that, you feel me? But at that time, you feel me? He ain't even, you know? He was depending on some other to protect him, you feel me? That's where he, you know, he, he lost to that, you know? When you do, you, you know, he was dependent. They were supposed to, you feel me? It wasn't nowhere in here. They supposed to let that happen to Shorty, you feel what I'm saying? Not like that, you feel me? Not without the, you feel me? Without the motherfucker. That supposedly killed him checking too. You feel me? Hell no. That shit wasn't even supposed to happen like that. You feel me? When no motherfucker, you feel me? Respecting that shit to happen to a like that over a fight. You feel what I'm saying? Like, hell nah. So it was like kind of like, what the? I thought they was trolling when they said he died. I'm here now. Y'all, y'all being funny type shit. You feel me? When I heard he died, I'm just automatically like, oh yeah. He got caught in the trenches. That's my first assumption. Soon I heard he died, I say, damn, somebody caught him in the trenches. You feel me? When I heard how, I'm like, no. Nah. That shit sound funny as hell. You feel me? And I had seen the video and shit. But then my had phone. I seen the video. I'm, damn, that's crazy. You feel me? That's fed up. But, no, but like, shit, I ain't know how to feel about that shit. You feel me? I told you, like, I ain't, I'll never be happy that a motherfucker. I took away from their mama, you feel me, or they kids, you feel me, or they, you know, I never wish that on no motherfucker. How much we into it, uh, war, none of that shit, y'all, because I seen my mama go through that shit with losing the daughter, you feel me, you know, I know how that shit is, losing the sibling, you feel me, I'm saying, I been through that shit, I see that shit, you feel me, so I don't be want to put no motherfucker through that shit. I don't wanna wish that shit on nobody. So, no. You mentioned being mad. Can you touch on that a little bit? What do you what do you mean by you were mad? Like, because it's like, cause certain shit like uh, when it come down to certain shit, you be want shit done how you want it done. You feel what I'm saying? And want shit to play out how you want it to play out. So when it don't play out how you want it to play out, of course you're gonna be upset about shit. You know, it's just like it's different. I was mad about that. I hear you. I hear you, man. Okay. You know, Doug passes, Vaughn passes, and, you know, the drill, drill scene 
kind of slows down a little bit since then. You know, the music isn't as much, you know, uh, Duck, Duck's case now has been over. Um, things have kind of changed a little bit, you know. What are your thoughts on the drill scene and how everything's been going? Shit, I feel like shit, this shit's still going on, but yeah, not as much, you feel me, from when they was alive, because it was different when they was alive. Like, them two people, just alone, bro, can change, probably can change, could have changed the world, you feel what I'm saying? Because them two, that, you know, like, you know, I see they pushing peace and shit and doing that shit now, you know, but I feel like, you feel me? Like J Man, he's somebody, you feel me? Of course, Dirk, he's somebody, you feel me? But that ain't what it's about, you feel me? It's about to say so, you feel me? I like Duck say so, you feel me? Go a long way. Like Vaughn say so, go a long way. If them if them if, if them two, you feel me, was on that type of time, it wouldn't be shit going on. Cause they motherfuckers gonna listen to Vaughn, gonna listen to Duck, you feel me? It ain't no too many motherfuckers gonna listen to J Man, man. You know a lot of motherfuckers. Dirk on homies feel some type of way about him, about how they left him. Ain't no motherfucker in the trenches listening to certain you feel me? So that weight don't harm shit. Like, it don't matter how famous you is, how much money you got, G. If you if, if your say so ain't shit, if you can't go tell a whole who, hey, sure, we finna do this, be cool. Your ass ain't no, like, you can't, you know, and they listen to you, you feel me? That shit ain't gonna work, you feel me? That's why it's it, it different, you feel me? If shit like that would happen, like, if they would've did it versus... Had J Main and you feel me, but I don't, I don't knock them off. I salute any motherfucker got that shit going on. You feel me? I ain't hating on no motherfucker, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, I hear that, man. For sure, for sure. I wanted to double back, man. I, I have one more question, bro. In the interview, your mama said she forgave Ki's killer. Right. How do you feel about that? Are you in the same place? Listen, I feel like it ain't even just with her killer, you feel me? Like, if, no matter what a motherfucker did while they was alive, you feel me? I feel like the point, like, when they die, anything that you had against them, hate, whatever the fuck, dislike, that shit should die with them, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that shit just goofy to me, you feel what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna, like, I done did it. Of course, I didn't, I'm from the hood, we didn't. Said we be smoking on the dead ops, and we didn't say that, like, disrespecting the dead and shit, you feel what I'm saying? But, like, nowadays, like, I just feel like, you feel me? All that shit should die with, you feel me? If you got some type of hate or feeling some type of trauma, when they die, that shit should be over. You should just be bringing their name up in songs. None of that shit, you feel me? They dead, you feel me? They can't respond to this shit or nothing. Like, you know, you just, that shit ain't right, you feel me? So I'll just be like, shit, whatever her killer had going on and whatever her killer did, man, she, that shit died with him. Like, you know? I hear you, man. That's that's uh, very big of you, man. I can't no. hate on no more that's dead. And, you know, what, I'm, what I'm hating on him, he gone. I can't hate on nobody that's dead. You feel me? I, I can't. That's crazy. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Now, is there anything you've seen on the internet that you might want to clear up? Any rumors, anything anybody said about you, anything that's been going on that you might want to speak out about? Shit. Oh, you got some shit you're trying to ask me? Because I do remember, I think we talked about this, or this is what initially you hit me up afterwards. Uh, I think Young was on DJU. And he said, you got your gun took from him? Uh, you got your gun took? Not him or something like that? And I and I think you wanted to respond to that, or you kind of responded to it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm from them. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I got my shit took, you feel me? But shit, it ain't like I'm gonna just took something from me. Your whole war got started after that. After I took that gun from me, your whole war got started, you feel me? But I did see uh, Butter... He was uh did an interview saying uh how motherfucker took took the gun and motherfucker do shit and like treat like it was like a motherfucker got treated. No, that day that took that gun it started a whole war, like real life a war like that shit happened like it was real life shots fired and people hurt behind that Pacific situation with that Pacific gun. But like, yeah, it got took from me, on bro I took it from me, but it was. Like I said, a war got started after that shit got took. 
Okay. All right. I don't want to get into that anymore. Okay. There's a, you know, there's a lot of famous people in the drill community. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I just kind of want to touch on them, see, you know, how much you know him, if you ever met him or anything. Did you ever come across Brubra? No. THF Brubra? No. Okay. What was it like hanging around Wooski or knowing Wooski? Shit, that's, 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 that's gang. That's a real moment. Like, shit, it was just, I'm around folks, I feel safe as hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'll be safe. I'll be feeling safe. Folks make me feel safe. Folks, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just, like, because I'm usually the motherfucker, uh, like, uh, like, when motherfucker finna pop out, you feel me? Duck them motherfucker, call me. Like, hey, G, we finna pop out, you feel me? Because they know. What I got going on when I pop out, G, like, they know I'm on ass, like, I'm on everything, like, I ain't gonna lie. So, shit, I'm usually the one that gotta be on point, you know? but when I'm with Wooski, I'm chill. I'm funny, I'll be high as hell, chilling. I ain't gotta worry about shit, because I know he on point. Ain't shit finna happen while shorty right here. I'm funny word. Shit. Is there any stories you can share hanging out with Wooski? Shit. I ain't gonna lie, shit. I, ain't, I can't even. It's a lot of shit, but I just can't speak on that shit. You feel me? Because, you know, that shit. Or something, something else. I did, you know? Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. Uh, You know, rest in peace, FBG Cash. You know, did you know Cash good? Were you guys good friends? Yeah, me and Cash, uh, we was cool. Well, we had a little uh, falling out and shit. You feel me? When I was in jail, I had called his phone. We had got into it about some shit. You know, bro. So, like, when he died and shit, that shit me up, you feel me? Because I wish I could have, you know, made peace with him, you feel me? And before he died, you feel me? That shit hit different when you went to one of your homies and you ain't get the chance to make up with him when they die. That shit hurt you even more, you feel me? So, yeah, that was bro, though. I'm fun of my love, Cash. I'm fun of him. I'm great. We just we had bumped heads one time and shit and shit. And we stopped talking. Shit. Damn. Okay. Well, what about FYB J Main? Yeah, I know folks. You feel me? Um, I know him. I ain't gonna say like I know him like I know them. You feel me? Like I know Cash them. You feel me? I know them. I know Cash them better. You feel me? Because I was actually hanging with these and see these daily. You feel me? J Main was out there. You feel me? But I didn't see J Main. J Main was my. Cause I'm on, I'm on, I'm in the hood every day. You feel me? Cash, young, duck, 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 you will see every day, you feel me? J Main pop out, you feel me? But he don't be on the hood like like you will see him every day, every single day. Like, you know, I see him though, you feel me? I think the last time I probably seen him was uh, at Pressure Crib on 63rd in St. Lawrence. Oh, um, bro. Yeah. This was in, yeah, right before I got booked, like 16. Last time I seen him, we was down there getting high as shit, chilling. So there's a lot of the guys that you haven't seen for a while. Yeah. You get out of jail in, you know, what, what, three, four months ago or how long ago? Shit, like seven. Seven months ago. Did you have a party? Did you see, you know, who all of you hung out with since you've been out of jail? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Hang out with a couple motherfuckers. Uh, I ain't really get, uh, but I've been meaning to get out with, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like pressure. I've been meaning to get up with folks, but like when he had, he was locked up when I first came home and shit, you feel me? He had got locked back up, so I ain't even never get a chance to get up with folks. But like, I ain't gonna lie, it's probably only a handful of that I actually, you feel me? Oh, quit, you feel what I'm saying? Because like, I, like, you feel me? I just, I just did seven, you feel me? All my friends, you feel me? Most of them, like 90, 90% of them, I was running with every day and around dead. So it's like, you feel me? I don't even be a, be around my like that, you feel me? Like, you know, I can count on one hand shit, like, how many, you know, I'll slide on and quit. That's from the trenches, you feel me? Like, from where I'm from, you feel me? Like, cool, like, I'll, I just, as far as, like, hanging out and, you know, it just be a lot of weird shit going on, you feel me? Like, you know, most of my homies dead. Like, the niggas I was hanging with in the trenches with, you feel me? I ain't finna be, you know, so, hell yeah, no. Nah. But it's a couple of that I, you know, we're hard, like, you know, that I, you know, that's cool. Okay. Did you ever run across G Herbo? 
I interviewed Pressure, and he brought up a situation where, you know, they kind of caught him. I don't know if it was in STL's territory, but close to STL, and uh, you know, they they had just I don't they had a situation with him. Uh, I probably seen him. I seen her one time in the county, and I had seen him. My grandma used to stay on uh, on assets in a hood. I had seen him another past time driving driving past or some shit. He was out there, but other than that, hell no, I ain't. I really don't even know how you looking, person. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shit. Okay. Uh, one of the big names that we always hear a lot about, man, is O Five One Melly. Did you ever hang out with him? Did you got? Did you know him? Yeah, I know who Melly was. Shit, he was in the like I said, I, I was in the hood every day. You feel me? He used to come to that motherfucker. You bound to see him come to that bitch. You out there? He'd come to that motherfucker, pull up different foreign cars and shit like that. You feel me? Like he be out there. He's super out there. Okay. You guys didn't really hang. It don't sound like you guys hung out too much. Nah, hell no. Nah. Like we posted out together and shit, you know. Shit, we're like, we ain't hung out, hung out, we ain't hung out. Besides, if we was the block busting and everybody out here type shit, you feel me? He out here with us, you feel me? But other than like hanging out on some personal shit, nah. Okay. King Little J. You know what are your what are your mem You know what are your thoughts on King Little J and hanging out with King Little J and everything back then. Shit, he uh, he, he cool. I ain't gonna lie, a gangster. Oh no, that's dark problem. He a gangster. That's one gangster ass. Like that, he a real gangster man. I ain't gonna say a lot to you. Do you have any stories you can share with Little J? Shit. Hell no, not really. Not besides shit when he was you know on doing certain shit and on that with motherfuckers. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. All the stories I got went, like about him is him doing some shit to somebody or getting on that with them all. Okay, a billionaire black. Yeah, I know. I know Billy. Was there any experiences or stories you could share hanging out with billionaire? Shit, really, just that. Uh, I ain't really uh hang with be like that. Like, uh, he was with phone man day. You feel me? But I had it like. They was a little older. You feel me? I had a different crowd. You feel me? Like his little brother and them was my crowd. You feel me? But like I used to see Billy and shit, you know, he from you know, he's from the hood. But like shit. Probably the the story like the last story I had told you about how we was in the car and shit with the thirty, he was with us, you feel me? That was the last time I even that's the last time I seen him. That's the last time I seen all yeah, that's the last yep, the last time we was all together. I told you it was me, him, duck, and brick when we got pulled over with the thirties in the car. Jim, that's shit. I think that's the only time I really was with him that whole day type shit because we just had we went out west uh, we, to shoot a video to, uh, with Mikey Dollars and shit on um, bro Duck had went to shoot a video with Mikey Dollars from out west video called and shit we had shot that and shit, we was together the whole day shit me him me Billy Duck Brick shit but shit that's probably the most time I ever spent with Billy on some personal shit you feel me besides seeing him with photo now now you know, growing up, STL, man, everything that you went through, everybody hanging out all the time, you know, how do you feel like your hood has changed from then to now? I actually just seen Pressure post a video where, you know, there would look like there was a little fight on St. Lawrence. No, shit still be going on. Shit be busting. I ain't gonna lie. Phone them, be out there. I ain't gonna lie. Gang them, little cheat dog them, they, they, they got that shit on lock over there, you know? That bitch ain't like, it be, don't nobody be out there. It be shit going on. You feel me? I just don't be, you know. What it be shit going on, though? Okay, now, is there anything you want to add before we get out of here? Hell yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Well, man, I appreciate your story, man. Uh, you know, dope story, dope interview, man. I'm, I'm sorry for your losses, man, you know. You know, I know a lot of that must have been really hard, tough to go through, you know, and I, I appreciate you sharing your story, man. I, I know the the drill community is going to love it, man. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of dope information, a lot of dope stuff we talked on, man. Uh, you know, shit. And I just I would just wish you the best, man. Yeah, sure. All right, bro. All right, sure.
What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.